Hello, and welcome to High Rollers Dungeons & Dragons. Very strange things were happening before we went live, but we're here Yay. now for another, another session of Dungeons & Dragons here on Twitch. Thank you for joining us. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Joining me, these people. Whoa! Hello. Uh, we have Rhiannon and Tom, <laughs> Hello. Katie, Hello. Trot, and Kim. Uh, joining Hello. us, as always, for another episode. Hello. We hope you're all well. Uh, a couple of things before we get started with today's game. First one is, just like we did on Thursday, all donations made on the High Rollers D&D Twitch. We do stream to both uh, twitch.tv forward slash Jogscast and twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers D&D. Any donations on the High Rollers D&D Twitch channel will be going to support Black Lives Matter as continued support against injustice around the world, but especially in the US right now fighting against police brutality and inequality in many other aspects of daily life. Um, uh, on Thursday, folks were very, very generous. We raised about $1,250, so we'd love to see that go even higher today. Um, just remember that is only on the High Rollers D&D uh, Twitch channel. Any donations made via the Yogscast will still be split between ourselves and the Yogscast, um, so just keep that. That's very important to note. High Rollers D&D donations only for if you'd like to support uh the people out in the world right now doing doing good stuff and fighting the good fight um mm. sponsors this week are our returning good friends D&D Beyond the sweet sweet Ooh. people at D&D Beyond and Chris Trot is going to tell you more about the wonderful world of D&D Beyond right now Wow, thank you, Mark. Wow, that's really nice of you to say that. And also nicer for D&D Beyond to sponsor us. So I'm going to make this super brief and not funny because turns out I'm not that funny anyway. But the point of this is D&D Beyond are donating 50% of uh, their earnings to Black Lives Matter uh, when you purchase the pigment pack or the mythic set of digital dice. I can show you exactly what they look like. We talked about the digital dice the other day and how exciting it all yep. is. Uh, so here we go. If you get them, which I did, because they're exciting, you get the pigment pack, so you can choose from all these different colours. Very nice. It's nice. Solid, solid colours. Or you can get the mythic one, which is really cool. I've been eyeing that one up, and now there's even greater yeah. reason to buy it right now. So let's head to my character sheet and see what they roll like, just to really Dude. entice you. I like how they are separated into the magic item rarities. I hadn't noticed that before. They have common, uncommon, oh, rare. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So I need to turn on okay. my dice rolling. Ding dong. Boop. Oh, ho, ho. oh look at those. Right. Just oh, wait, yeah, well, wait. wait until it goes wait away. For it. So yeah, cool. Really? It stays on it for a bit. It's sucked away. Oh, there oh. Goes oh. Oh. I really want, I want a nat 20. That's, That's what I want. Not Come gonna on. happen. Does it have a different effect on a nat twenty? I can't. It remember. does. It Two, does have a different. Eight. Oh, come on. You come are on. not gonna get one. This is like <laughs> Tom and Rhiannon before every game of High Rollers at the table when we play okay. in the studio. Oh, oh my god! Uh, no. Nope. No. Uh, no. Nineteen. No. Just... Trot, please no. Oh my god! You're, you're rolling sixteen it. of them. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. There's one. Yeah, there's, there's, one. there's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, oh, all cool. of that. <laughs> so there you go. If you head to dndbeyond.com slash, uh, com slash now, <laughs> what? Uh, what? <laughs> buy the dice sets, the mythic or the pigment pack, and 50% of the proceeds go to Black Lives Matter. And what a great cause to do and get <clears throat> sweet ass dice in the process. So Chris, I have a problem. I seem What's that? very, very delayed. On I, yeah. oh. I don't know if that's going out. Yeah, yeah it is. It's yeah, super it is. delayed. Try and rejoin, Mark. Okay, all right. All right, I will do that. Should we Thank write you. it? Thank you. Was it all we... the dice? Yeah. <laughs> super well, delayed. Once the DM's gone, should we take all control of the, dice. of the campaign? Uh, let's take control. It's a good time yeah, to announce. Yes. I am now yeah. the DM. So... Okay. Yep. <laughs> nope, that's not true. Nope, oh, absolutely fine. not. Starbane and Nova, <laughs> straight away. Oh my Don't. god. Kim will hey. feed you up if you do that. <laughs> Kim uh, and Starbane, yes. Mark seems good. Nova now. and Starbane, no. I seem okay. Nova and Talia, yes. <laughs> Bingo. Right, yeah. There you go. Uh, so, thank you. So, so, first, yeah, DD Beyond, not only is it just a great digital tool, those guys tend to do a lot of good stuff for good causes out there as well. Um, they've been helping and promoting a lot of. Uh, a lot of black voices in the tabletop role-playing sphere as well. 
I know just a quick shout out to my friend Tanya. Uh, Cypher of Tear has been doing a huge donation drive for the, the bailout fund as well. Over like the last time I saw it, it was over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars raised, um, and they wow. had a bunch of yes, wow. as well. so crazy, really awesome. So congrats, what Tanya job. and Cypher awesome. on that as well. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, check out D and D Beyond, great long term sponsors, and they do a lot of good stuff. Check those guys out as well. Indeed. Other quick things: uh, Nova is now available in Idol Champions. Idol Champions who have sponsored the show, um, and you can find a bunch of the high rollers characters in uh, Idol Champions. You can now get Fish Nova Meteor. Uh, to add to your party uh, tank support w wasn't expecting the tank bit but you can you can grab nova she's um, a and tank. She supports... i wasn't behind that i wasn't no. behind that uh, but she now works really game, right? well you get an extra effect if you What's have a sentry quill and nova into yeah one party synergy um, a you guys synergy. Are doing... there you go you guys are doing a stream on it i think Mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday, 6.45 p.m. Uh, Katie and Ree, if you're still up for it, gals, um, we'll be rolling then yeah. and, uh, yeah, having I'll, a play I'll... and probably talking a lot of crap. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. That's generally what those streams turn into, where it's just like, mm -hmm. let's just talk about anything, everything and anything uh, while it goes on. Um, and then I'm sure the at some point, Dylan, it was yeah. the birth of Chaos Twins. Oh, my God. I was there for it as well. Um, I'm, and I'm sure that you'll have a, a good stream with uh, Dylan or the Idol Champs guys at some point as well, Kim, um, to chat Yeet. more about Nova and all, I've actually, all the design stuff. I've actually already recorded the interview, but um, obviously because they um, suspended their ah. streams this week um, to support mm. Black Lives Matter, so I've already recorded the interview. We talked a lot of Star Trek. Um, so yeah. I'm not sure when they'll put that out, but when they do put that out, we'll tweet about it on High Rollers. So keep your Perfect. eyes to the sky. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> is there anything else, or shall we go into Dundas? Uh, quickie. Uh, yep. That mm -hmm. donation total will update now and again. It's not yeah. instant, so Real if time. your donations, you're worried if they're going through or not, they more than likely have. Also, Tom is going to be catching up on the d very kind donations made uh, on the yes. Cross of Strath stream. stream blah, blah, blah. Tom, you finished that sentence, because I apparently... Have no ability to speak today. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't read the messages from Curse of Strahd, but I won't be reading the messages. Um, I'll, I'll just, you know, say the names because I don't want to spoil Curse of Strahd. Speaking of Curse of Strahd, wowee, what a great campaign. If you haven't checked that out, please do. That's on Thursdays. <laughs> um, nice. yep. And yeah, we'll be reading your messages during the break and at the end of the episode as well. So please, 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 if you can, donate. Thank you, everybody. Perfect. All right. So yeah, once again... High Rollers D&D, for any donations, all of them going to support Black Lives Matter. And with that, let us play some Dundons, and then we'll have the recap. Woo! Hello, and welcome back to Erois. Our party are currently traveling through astral space, trying to return to their home plane of Erois. They have escaped a planet of angels controlled by their enemy, Kalas Starbane, met with a rebel cell of celestials, and made friends with a Medusa ship captain who has agreed to transport them for a fee. Aboard Thalia's ship, the party have made plans to infiltrate one of Kalas's warships, but they must first obtain schematics of the ship's layout and design. Captain Thalia has told them about a criminal contact she has, an ultraloft named Zax Ravas, who owes her a favor. While traveling through the Styx, a demi-plane that allows for faster travel between the different worlds, the ship and party come under attack by an illithid nautiloid, 
a psychic spell jammer ship that attempted to capture them. Fending off a boarding party, psychic attacks, and escaping the Nautiloid's grasping tentacles, they escape. Sadly, Thalia loses a member of her crew, the scholarly navigator imp, Bim. And that is where we pick up today's episode. Um, we're going to do a little bit of, not necessarily, uh, we're going to do a little bit of time skip slash montaging. Um, because there are several days still to go on the journey. You have 11 days before you arrive in Erois, and there's a few things you want to kind of do on the route. So, my question is going to be, and we can take turns, or if anybody has anything in particular they want to do or say, um, is really just how do your characters fill the time? Uh, the ship is kind of limited in space, so there's not really a lot of places to do, you know, any you know, big projects or really have much time alone. You're kind of uh, condensed into a couple of living quarters and then the main lounge for most of the time. Um, the only real kind of schedule there is is food. Uh, apart from that, you just have hours and hours of not really doing that much. Um, and then we'll talk about some of the stuff that the NPCs are doing. But generally, yeah, you guys have got like a couple of days. So now is if there's anything you guys want to talk about, if there's NPCs you want to talk to if you guys want to have make plans amongst yourselves now is the time to do it or we can just skip ahead and and pass over stuff yes chris Trump. lucius uh immediately as in like i imagine it won't take days to do this but we'll check in yeah. on um harpy lady Kyrie, and try and make try and make waves with her because i felt like the tara incident was pretty awkward and there's a lot of attention on her and Lucius will try and make amends uh, and just take some time to kind of gain a rapport with her, I think. Okay. Okay. All right. What about anybody else? And then we'll, I'll jump around and do like RP bits, like when I've got a vague idea of what everyone wants to do, because there might be ways that um, stuff syncs up and things like that. So just in terms of time, is this enough for me to get the Eye of the Storm back as well? I mean, well, how many days until it refreshes? Um, you know some you gotta be tracking I think I, I think I got it back on like the first day of the holiday right and that was like a couple of days of the of hadar and then a day in thingy and then x amount of days traveling well, um right now there will be three days um before anything happens so so it's not been a full week i don't think tomorrow tomorrow well okay. this well tomorrow is there's three days so you know, you've got three days. Yeah, I mean, back. yeah. Tomorrow at the end of the montage. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Anything else? Um, can I see if someone can help to put the upgrade onto the Howling Tempest? You will not be able to do that on the ship, sadly, just because the ship doesn't have like facilities for like, in, like forging and making materials and stuff like that. You have. Uh, I thought. I thought Nova. I thought that Nova and Quill could do it, or Lucius, you said. The I guys, the guys can do it. Yeah, the thing is, is the guys can do it, but you need somewhere like a forge, like a blacksmith's forge, okay. or somewhere where you can actually... You like, failed to tell me that, like that part of it, Marku. That's fine. I think I did say that it would. all of the upgrades would need some sort of way to actually be applied. Like, the guys can do it, but you need tools. You need things like... You know, yeah, blacksmithing tools, inscribing tools, like any kind of major city will have this, but yeah. Or maybe you can find somewhere that will have like something similar, but the ship is very small and doesn't have the facilities to do that, unfortunately. Fine. Uh, I don't have anything else then. Okay. Anything for I think um... Sentry would just um, go around repairing the ship, trying to help out mm -hmm. Thalia wherever she can. Okay. So just like doing physical work around the ship and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Nova? Uh, so I'm guessing I've probably left uh, most of the bits to Project Flock together back on Erois. Like, I, I feel like... I think they were she on got the airship, kind of, weren't they? Yeah, final bits made the at the... Um, uh, Serenzi or wherever. The, our fun, super fun island time. Oh boy. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so you, well, I, I you guess had it I done back really... in the port. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I can't really. I mean, I can summon an air, air, air elemental if you want to smack the crap out of that. Um, but do I you want to like do that maybe... on the ship? 
I feel like close quarters on a ship is perhaps not the safest place to do that. Um, in which case, um, I think Nova would, with Captain Thalia's permission, try and read um, as much as she can. Like if Bim has any notes, I don't know if Bim has any notes mm -hmm. or data slabs or anything. I think she would mm -hmm. try and just inhale as much knowledge as she can about the ship about navigation about like you know i think she would definitely be looking towards like trying to find out more about ganas um mm -hmm. about her home world um and then also i guess yeah just trying to yeah just uh pick up maybe okay. where bim left off sure sure um okay so going back around and starting with lucius yeah lucius uh on the first day it doesn't take you much uh you know it's a small ship uh Kyrie is she is a harpy, so she has feathered wings. She has big, taloned feet. Um, her hands are more claw-like. They're humanoid, but they're long, elongated, with sharp claws. But the rest of her is not too dissimilar to a young, sort of maybe in her like very late, uh, like, sorry, a very early twenties, um, young woman. And you, there is a moment where, for the first couple of times you try and approach her. Every time you try and get nearer, she immediately changes direction and like tries to walk away. Or like anytime anybody kind of gets nearer, she like runs back up into her little turret nest um, and doesn't appear. But if you keep persisting, if you keep trying to kind of, you know, say hello and things like that, eventually she manages to kind of get a few words out here and there where she'll just be like, hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks. For I've, got, I've got to go. And then she'll run off. And then the next time, you know, you kind of speak to her, she'll just be like, uh, yeah, hi, hi. Is, is there something I can, I can help you with? Is there anything you need? Um, I shouldn't really, I don't really know anything. Uh... Oh, I don't believe that. I'm sure you know plenty that we don't know. We're from a planet where we've never left and done space travel. So, oh, what is there out here? You know, what do you do in space? Um, well, I, I kind of just thought, yeah, uh, kind of joined Thalia and she needed a gunner so and I'm kind of a good aim so uh, sometimes I, I shoot stuff and uh, how do you know you're a good um, aim what did you do training did you go to an academy or something no I don't I don't I don't know I it's just she just just well I just I, I, I she made me like target some rocks once and then I shot them and I hit them and she said I was a good shot I, 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 look and she kind of like covers her face and you can see that it's kind of a habit of hers that when she kind of goes bright red, she completely covers her face with her giant claws. Um, and then she kind of like, like takes one weight, one down. She's like, look, you're very nice. Uh, I, if you couldn't tell, I, I, I really struggle talking to people because I, I get very, very anxious when people are looking at me. And I, I come from a world where they, they don't really know much about any of this stuff. My, my people, the harpies, we, we're kind of, just like we're not very educated so i i don't know how any of this stuff works thalia found me i had I, I had run away from my family and i was lost and people were being quite horrible to me and she found me and she brought me in and she's been trying to teach me this stuff but i i i don't get it i don't understand any of it i just know that when i push the buttons it makes the magic fire out and I've slowly been figuring out how to do that. I sing sometimes. You sing? Wonderful. Not with anybody. Nobody's allowed to listen. It's only when everyone's asleep. Right. Well, uh, I'll be sure to plug my ears if you do try singing. That's probably a good idea. Like, you're very nice, Mr. Lucius. Just... This is hard, okay? Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna I, go. I, I, don't worry, I understand. Don't worry. Don't, just, just quickly, don't forget that uh -huh. oh, we absolutely know nothing about spaceships as well. We know literally zero. That's good. So we've okay. got that in common at least. And uh, yeah. although I'm from a very uh, wealthy manor house, I learnt barely nothing. So even though I was given <laughs> everything, uh, I literally know very little about the situation I'm in right now. And I'm sure the others of our party, they're all very nice too. Uh, maybe maybe someday you could join us uh, for a communal meal or something. Yes? 
and we could all get to know each other a little better. We're all stuck in this this vessel. You tell them. Very you tell walls. them not to look at me though. To start with, just like just don't look pay at attention to me. And I, I look around. <laughs> yeah, she kind of like there's like a little laugh, like a proper sort of like. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually really nice. Thanks. Um, okay. Anyway, I'm keeping then, you. You you go off and do your okay, thing. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, she goes back up into a turret, and then I think probably at some point, Lucius, something is slid under the door. Like later the, on the first night after you talked to her, something is slid under the door, Anthrax. and it looks like a little. No, it's like a little metal disc. Axel Um, it's a little <laughs> metal disc with a piece of paper that says play this uh and then it just has a k like a really and it's the Aww. writing is it's clearly somebody that doesn't know how to write very well because it looks like it's been written very crudely um but it's just like a little disc uh and it just says play this um very sweet i'll inform the party via messenger ring about my progress mm -hmm. with her and how everyone mm -hmm. should currently approach her based on what I've managed to achieve, and that we shouldn't maintain eye contact, that sort of thing. And I'm yeah. encouraging her to come to dinner with us, you know, that sort yeah, yeah, of stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure other people you, will um, try as well. Do you play the little disc? Like, you, you, you can find, like, there's a system on oh, the ship yeah. where you can put it in. Yeah, I'll put it's, it in. Um, when no one's it's, around. Um, yeah, when no one's around. It's a, it's a Shansara uh, music, like, song. Like, it has, like, a little illusory Shansara, and it's a really poppy, preppy, upbeat song. <laughs> like, a little K-pop song. Um... I'm gonna start learning it. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. It's like, uh, it's and yeah, not it's really very... Thing, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very... There's lots of dancing involved. There's lots of, like, illusory dancing and special effects and things. Um, but yeah, you I'll get the... Do you learn the dance that... moves? I'll, I'll Do you learn the dance moves? Big... Yeah. Sure, okay. All right, so on his own in the in your bedroom when no one else is around, Lucius learns the astral pop star dance. <laughs> oh, this song, perfect. Yeah, it's very Macarena. Amazing. Um, okay, <laughs> perfect. Uh, Sentry, you wanted to kind of just help things around. So Nova, as well. I'm assuming at parts you are just generally helping repair the ship and stuff as well. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the two between the two of you, by the way, any remaining systems that weren't fixed are fixed and the hull is repaired by a hundred hit points so over like three days you guys are going to manage to repair about a hundred hit points of hull um a lot of it wow. involves when thalia learns that sentry doesn't need to breathe there's a lot of discussion of well perhaps sentry could just go outside and patch some of the holes Stay and things awkward. like that uh yeah uh, but it's kind of quickly abandoned by the fact that she would probably still freeze to death if out there for any lengthy period of time um but yeah you, you guys spend some time fixing things the one thing sentry make a make a perception check for me dorky that's a 14 total 14 you at some point, perhaps late at night, when the others are resting um, and you are, you know, got some, you know, you don't need to rest as much as the other characters, um, you head towards near the cockpit where you can hear, you hear this very slurred, drunken voice um, from the cockpit uh, that is Captain Thalia. You can recognize her signature kind of voice with the, the hissing S's and things like that. And you just kind of hear this kind of drunken rant of like, just my fucking life. Does the multiverse just want me to keep on suffering or something? Was I really this bad to deserve all of this? Fuck. And you hear like a big slamming on the counter and like a smashing of bottle. And then it very quickly turns into like a quiet sobbing coming from inside. Um, you can just hear these kind of choked back tears and this kind of labored breathing and and seething like you can hear the sounds of somebody just kind of quietly mad at themselves whilst they're struggling not to cry um does sentry do anything or do you just leave it for now um i think she'd probably try and quietly sort of like <laughs> to peek around and just see if like she's okay um, yeah uh are you trying to be unnoticed or do you care if you are noticed I think she'd try and like pretend like she's doing you know something else. Like maybe she's pretending oh, right, to like okay. sweep the floor or something and just 
Okay. But like, yeah, <laughs> keeping a close yeah, so you're like trying to pick up things or something like that. Yeah, like yeah. you you do that, and and at first you're kind of unnoticed, um, and you can see that yeah, Thalia is there's a few empty bottles, uh, glass kind of like long thin bottles that are scattered around her chair. She currently has her boots up on the the cockpit, and she's just leaning back with her hands over her face, and you can just hear these kind of like restrained sobs um and then she kind of seems to like like sniff kind of pull herself out of it sit back up and uh she seems to notice you're there you're not very good at keeping quiet miss sentry i hope you're not spying on me oh no no i was just sweeping up a little bit of um astral dust is that what you'd call it (laughs) astral dust Mm, astral dust. Sure, whatever, whatever you say. I, I, Do you, you think I'm a bad okay? person, Miss Sentry? No, of course not. Not at all. I was. I've actually come to really admire you in the short time we've known each other. You don't know if you You're would say that if you knew me before. That's very kind of you to say now. <sighs> we're, all, we're all a ragtag bunch of misfits i think no matter what we do in our past it's what we do now that makes the difference right it's what makes us good people you have a very good heart to you you shouldn't stay out here in astral space it's not meant for people like you too many people out here just care about themselves care more about what happened in the past than they do care about what happens in the future. I used to be someone once. I was a princess of a planet. It was all taken away, oh. quite rightly in some ways, and yet so unbelievably unfair in others. All I've got left what? is this ship. You're doing a done a very good job of it so far i think <laughs> you're uh, <laughs> extremely capable capable yes but going around stealing and smuggling it's hardly the life i imagine for myself but i suppose i'm free i suppose i can help out a few people where i can and she looks in the direction of the turret where Kyrie's sleeping and big cat you're very kind I do not- Hmm? Well, I, I used to know a princess, so I guess you're the second one on my list. It's an honor to <laughs> meet another princess. It was, a very, it was a very, very, very long time ago. and Well, it's certainly any right I had to such a title has long since passed. But that's very sweet. I imagine what? I'm going to guess you were a bodyguard. Oh, pretty much. An au pair you seem a of sorts. Hmm. Was she quite young, I take it? This princess of yours? She was 15 when we last spoke. Ah, well. I'm sure that you must have helped her grow into quite a, quite a little character. Well, she really was. She was... She was cheeky, but... She had she had a good soul. She was strong like her mother. Fiercely independent. <laughs> Aren't we all at that age? I certainly was. You say was, so I won't trouble you with the difficult memories of asking what happened. I think that your friends are very lucky to have you around. It's I'm lucky to have them. I've not you know, we've heard stories, legends about guardians. You're the first one I've met. It's quite an honor in a way. My family knew of the old legends from the time before. Hmm. Well, it's good to good to meet you as well. You're the first Medusa I've met. I've met a lot of <laughs> oh. very unique and interesting people since I've met my party of friends. She seems to get a little bit more saddened when you kind of point out the Medusa thing. Um, and she, But she doesn't seem to take offense. It's more that it obviously brings up a sad memory. I hope that you don't meet any other Medusae. 
we're not meant to be nice. It's a punishment. It's a curse, and many don't take to it as well as I have. Luckily, I've got this, and she holds up a bottle of some sort of clear liquid. This helps keep me a little bit sane. And she takes a big glug of it. Anyway, go. Go back to your friends. Keep sweeping for astral dust, if you must. I think I should probably well, I can... get some sleep myself. Well, do you want me to sit out here for a little bit and keep an eye on things? Would you like a, a hot drink? Hot chocolate or something? <laughs> Sure. Why not? We have to live a little sometimes. Sounds good. Let's live a little and have hot chocolate. Yeah. And um, by the time you come back from making it, she's fallen asleep. Uh, you can just see like the bottle sort of like drooping out of her hand and just a soft snoring as you come back uh, where she's passed out. Oh. Can I carry her to her bed and just put tuck her up in bed and then keep her Yeah, she's the... passed out enough that she doesn't notice. Uh, when you take her... In fact, actually, I hadn't thought about this. I wrote information about her room a while ago. When you take her to her quarters, it's the first time any of you have been in them. And uh, it opens up into... what The room almost looks like nobody slept in it, in it for a while or used it for a while. Um, the only thing that you really notice is that there is a crate of bottles sim similar thin uh glass bottles of unopened alcohol uh in one corner there's a small shelf which has a series of books like little fiction books um that all have uh they all have titles like uh hard night and uh by the in the dead of night and things like that um they all have quite like gaudy colors and bright like fonts and titles on the spines um and you also notice that there's a little kind of half pulled out from under her bunk little trunk um and inside you can see what appears to be a piece of green fabric um very beautifully made with very delicate uh leaf designs and elven almost in make um some sort of like piece of clothing that's been stored and it looks like it's recently been pulled out and opened um but you kind of lay her on the bed and she just is like mm -hmm, and they're kind of drunk and mutters to herself but doesn't seem to stir or wake up or anything like that but there's nothing else really in the room okay i'll just still quietly just say i'm sorry about them i'll i'll do better next time and then just close the door oh yeah and just leave her to it nice cool uh Nova, uh, it doesn't take much, and yeah, Thalia, there's almost an element of, um, there's an element of coldness in the way that sh this happens, where you ask for permission to go through Bim's notes, and she just plucks the little crystal slab that he used, and just seems to, like, kind of give it to you without looking at it. She just, it's like, yeah, sure, take it, do what you want with it. I can't make heads or tails of his system so uh but there's yeah make an insight check for me actually as nova insight oh minus one cool <laughs> <laughs> nova's not the best at reading people uh, I rolled zero. Natural one mark so that would yeah, be a man, zero yeah i guess like i guess it's up to you how nova feels about this but thalia is super disrespectful like it's just she just tosses you this data pad and it's just like, yeah, knock yourself out. Uh, and just doesn't seem to care. Like, doesn't seem to show any sort of care about Bim or anything else. Uh, quite rude. Mm -hmm. um, mm. But yeah, you um, if you analyze the notes, uh, Bim, the little imp, uh, for all of his yeah strangeness, kept very detailed scholarly notes about places that he had been, that he'd visited. Uh, he was quite the little... Uh, yeah, like a little scholar, really, like a little planar yeah. scholar. And uh, he has detailed notes of different planets. He has the maps, the navigational maps. Uh, he has an extensive collection of notes which relate to Erois, uh, which is known as the Lost Planet. Um, and it's basically a collection of stories, a collection of uh, what appear to be recovered data files of ships that tried to find it. 
Um, and he's slowly... And it looks like he's been working on this for maybe decades, maybe centuries. Oh, man. Where he's just been piecing together little pieces of information about how to find it. And it was like his little his little mystery that he was trying to solve, yeah. right? Like his little, I'm going to do it. I'm going to find the, the, the magic planet that everybody says doesn't exist. Um, <laughs> and there's probably, yeah, there's that little... There's that little pang of sadness as you realize, like, oh, you yeah. would have, you would have been so excited, uh, but he's yeah. dead now. So, no. yeah, uh, Tom had a little fight, but sure. Thrown out. <laughs> oh, he didn't. He didn't prepare it because oh, Will didn't. doesn't right. want to use necromancy spells, okay. which apparently it's Fair not enough. anyway. It's not even a necromancy spell. Um, ah well. <laughs> ah well. Oh. Uh, dead now. Yeah. Um, in terms of Genas, it's not. Bim doesn't have the most detailed notes on it because it's not doesn't seem to be a planet he was particularly interested in. Um, his planets more relate to the infernal planets, to the celestial planets, um, to Gideon Prime. But what he does have is it makes a couple of facts quite clear. One, Genas is firmly loyal to the Valkyrian Empire, um, but it only in yeah like recent recent centuries. Um, Judging by the notes that Bim has, you think that when Vorton Sar came to Erois, when it was swapped with Jasavir, mm. uh, the Valkyrian Empire wasn't in control of Ganas at the time. Um, but it has recently, since then, become heavily under the sway of it. Um, Jasavir is not really referenced, but there is rumors. Uh, Bim has notes that report on a the arrival of elves from another world. Uh, these were quickly assimilated into Ganas culture, but then when the Valkyrian Empire came, they were all taken away, um, and the city has oh. basically been um, refurbished and turned into a new like habitat for Ganassi. Um, but the elves of Jasavir were taken away, it seems, um, judging by Bim's notes. Um, huh. It's primarily well, yeah. a military planet, Ganas, um, Ganassi, a lot of Ganassi become pilots and a lot of them become foot soldiers. Um, Air Ganassi are known for being quite exceptional pilots. Um, they <laughs> tend to be the pilots of a lot of spacecraft um, and astral ships. Uh, Earth and Fire Ganassi tend to be more like foot troopers, both ranged and, and up close. Um, and Water Ganassi tend to be quite uh, good as engineers. Um, they tend to be like a kind of mix of all of these different things. Uh, built in um, but yeah that's kind of the summary notes without me writing up tons and tons yeah. of stuff um, but there's definitely some information there um, that you would be of use to Nova um, and looking through it as another as another scholar you're pretty sure you could use any any of BIM's navigational maps you can now act as a navigator with them like you could use these to help Bali and navigate and everything else um, if need be plot new courses uh, cool Uh, it's probably on the third night um, actually it'd be on the third morning Thalia calls all of you to the lounge um, kind of wants to address everybody um, Big Cat has been extremely lethargic ever since Bim's death uh, he tends to just sleep and look sad all the time and he just kind of Aww. mopes around um, and like swats at things on the floor like he finds like discarded food and just like knocks it around and then it watches it and it doesn't move afterwards and then he gets sad and then pads away and goes and lays down somewhere um <laughs> stop it chris trot i can see you i see you there <laughs> i knew that this was gonna happen he was, I, I knew he was working on something i knew it um <laughs> it wasn't even him it was yules Oh, it was Yules who sent it to him, was it? Nice. A little Thanks, floating Yules. imp animation. There we Love go. it. <laughs> Don't, oh, you're going to set Rhiannon peace, off him. again. <laughs> rip in peace. Rip in peace. Rest in peace in peace. Um, Thank you, Chris Yules. But yeah. Uh, yeah, Big Cat Big Cat seems sad. He doesn't, have his, uh, he doesn't have his thing to bully around anymore. So he's kind of taken to like knocking over stuff and being destructive in other ways. Yeah. Um, but Thalia calls you all uh, in um, and addresses a lot of you. You mentioned that you needed these schematics for one of Callus's ships. Uh, I mentioned to you that I had a, a contact that I could reach out to. 
they've agreed to a meeting. Uh, I can. It will take us about a day to arrive. Uh, Zax is willing to discuss the matter with you at, a, at an old mining facility uh, that was abandoned several years ago. I'm assuming, oh. assuming that you all wish to go ahead with meeting him. Yes. Where would we Absolutely. need to go? It's not too far. It's not too far from. Um, it's it's a few hours travel. We'll need to come out of the sticks. There's a breach point near Arcadia. We'll come out of the sticks, uh, and then it's a short journey uh, to an old asteroid field. They were using it to mine uh, materials. But there's a facility there. It's long abandoned. Smugglers use it from time to time as a drop zone, as a drop point for delivering illicit goods and things like that. Uh, Zax will be there. He has his own ships. Um, I, I suspect he will have a few guards with him. Uh, he's a paranoid creature. Or they are a paranoid creature, I should say. A creature like Zax Ravis doesn't really have gender. Um, they're beyond that, in a sense. Just keep in mind that Zax is a criminal. Zax is paranoid, and he's not going to just do this because I owe him a favor. He'll meet with you, and my hope is that he'll agree to listen to you, and he'll cut you a good deal. But he's, they, are going to, they are going to want something in return. Uh, I don't know what. That will be for you to negotiate. But I can make the contact happen. Thank you. We'll make our preparations. <laughs> Prepare for the worst. Yes, it won't. It, it won't take us long. We should. We should arrive by tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, or in a few hours, twenty-four hours or so. Uh, and what will you do in that? So, if time? there's any preparations. Oh well, I mean, I'll come with you if you want. I'll need to introduce you to Zach Ravis anyway. It's only the polite thing to do. The whole uh, crew. No, probably just me and Big Cat. Uh, I'll leave Kyrie here on the ship to protect it. Just in case. Um, Very well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think yes. Ayla will be trying um, to trying to. By the way, when Big Cat's sad, Ayla will be trying to gradually become friends again with Big Cat. Sure. Make an animal handling check. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think Look you're as one. bad at these as other things. Oh. Thirteen. Staring there. Thirteen. So you get the impression that what Big Cat misses the most is something to pick on. Um, like, he just wants to fight stuff. He wants something that he can just, like, push around and play with. Like, you don't get the sense that he was, like, actually trying to bully, but he wants something that he can play with uh, in the same way that he would play with Bim. Um, hey, Lucius. Uh, and you, you want to come well, over you here can for also a minute? <laughs> yeah, oh. you can pull Lucius over. <laughs> Hello, yes. Do you want to play with Big Cat? Uh, I love um, a Big Cat. Oh, okay. Just, just Lil. No? It's Mark gone? Kind of like, oh, oh, he's there. Right, he's I'm there. back. My PC did a really weird thing where I couldn't see any of my windows oh, okay. anymore. No, um, you never left for us. Uh, yeah, weird. You never leave um, us. I'm having some weird problems. Um, Big Cat looks at Lucius. Um... Uh, I don't with... think he would be that interested in Big Cat. I don't think oh, Big Cat wouldn't be interested in Lucius. Maybe like he yeah. he pads at some of the things on his jacket, like the little dangly jewels and things. He's like, uh, big paws, <laughs> careful. Uh, he just slinks I, off. I don't goes, think Big Cat Lucius. likes me very much. Mm. Maybe Quill need a new friend. Need a new friend Quill's... for Big Cat. Quill. <laughs> No. I hope you're saying and think about this cat. very carefully. He's a big cat and I'm a tiny bird in comparison. Think about it. He does look at he him. is looking at Quill more than he's looking at Lucius. Because Lucius isn't Lucius has a bit of like, you know, he's tall and he's got a decent build to him. He's stronger than a person. He's he's got like a 13th strength. But Quill Oh yeah, Quill. Quill and Nova <laughs> look like Quill and Nova look like the kind of things that Pit Cat can can push around. Um, so how sad like does Big Cat look? Cat. <laughs> I mean, like, like, like when you own cats, Tom. Do you ever look at your cats and think, "Oh, they look really sad"? Um, I mean, so that then, mm, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he looks I mean, like I'm, a sad I'm on like cat. The, yeah, I'm on like the opposite side of the room when they're talking about me. So I kind of like 
really slowly like lift up my wing so there's a lot of feathers kind of on display <laughs> and kind of like give them a little a little a little twinkle just like a <laughs> to see yeah, what he, he does you do the little if you do the movement okay. you see him kind of get really low to the ground Uh-oh. and he starts oh. to get a bit closer I can't mm. not too quickly please okay. Raise it, raise my wing up a little higher, and then just kind of do it again. Are you, are you sat down or standing up? I'm sta- I'm like in the corner of the room. <laughs> <laughs> just gets a bit closer. Nudges a bit closer, looks up. See his body sink down. Oh, I don't his, know. His butt goes high. Oh no, 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 no! And I just like try and run for the door. <laughs> And it, he's waiting for you to run, and as soon as you start running, he moves ah! up into a sprint and just knocks you down. He's, he was waiting for and you I'm to dead. run. A hundred percent. Nah, he doesn't kill you, but he like knocks you down and then like pushes you around, and you just hear like. Ow! <laughs> he burps in your face. Just lie he... still. Oh. Just like c- cocoon. Lie still. Just let him let him bat bat you around a little bit. It's fine. Fetal it's position. Fine. Fetal position. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't hear that. I'm, like, trying to gust him off me. <laughs> the more you struggle, the more he is, like, just, like, puts a paw on your arm, pins you to the floor, like, like burps in your face, and, like, knocks you around. Really... This is so, like, Mario. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a big cat. He's a big cat. Um, but, yeah, Thalia kind of watches this. You see a little smirk in Thalia in the corner of her mouth as she sees Big Cat playing around. Um... Kyrie's probably Yay. probably watching from a little perch, and she's kind of like snickering to herself. Um, there's a bit more mirth, a bit more mirth in the room watching Quill get beaten yeah. up by Big Cat. <laughs> We're all having fun. It's all Look fun. At <laughs> Look at it's the stupid bird. Ha ha ha. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Good day we're having. Yeah. Still um, frame, yeah, free frame. Credits. Finally, <laughs> turns around. It's like, well, <laughs> I shall leave you all to it. Um, yes, just get what you need. Uh, do you think of something that you can offer Zax as payment, um, whatever you have. Uh, he'll want something. Have a think. Mm. Mm. Something quite big, I imagine. And powerful. <sighs> knowing, knowing him, knowing them, they will... They will want either some sort of favor in return, or something they can sell, something that's going to make them more powerful. He's not too dissimilar to myself. They are not too dissimilar to myself, I must say. Those of us out here who are not on good terms with the Empire, we're always looking for something that can give us an edge. So right. Think on that. Uh, we'll be there in a few... It will be there in around a day or so, so... And then she just makes her way back to the cockpit. She probably turns around and is like, Big Cat, do leave our passenger alone for at least a little while. And you hear Big Cat like, Row, and then he pads after her and follows her into the cockpit. cockpit. Like licking my face, I guess. Ugh. Yeah, he's not Ugh. Big, One big lick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, His breath stinks. The Big Cat's breath stinks. Yeah, he's a cat. Hmm. Do we have a gem a worth 50 player. gold? Do you have a gem uh, worth 50 I've, gold? That's a great question. Do you? I've got a chest worth 100 gold. <laughs> um, mm. we got, I've got gems all over me, but whether they have value yeah. or not... <laughs> no. Okay. Unless it says they have value. Okay. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, okay, that would be any, a component anything? for us. Okay. Anything else? Anything from anything else? I think I'd request a group gathering to kind of collect ourselves post-battle and travel, just get our heads straight and what the plan is. Um, so I basically say that to the team. Sure. What, what are we? What are we planning on doing? And how are we preparing for bargaining, haggling? Who's going to do that? Um, Hmm. Well, we didn't even have anything for Thalia, <laughs> and now we're going to a criminal who is able to gather expensive mm. materials, stolen materials, like 
like this, he's going to want something good. Um, and I don't like the idea of a favor because that becomes open-ended and flexible rather than an object, you know? Um, people have a way with words and twisting them. <laughs> I mean, we, so, we are getting three wishes from this thing that Dahlia wants us to do with that we're demon. two. Two wishes. If well, she's getting one, one we're getting two. We don't even two know for us. what That's that what entails. I mean. That could be something far too dangerous or risky for us to achieve. So we shouldn't hedge our bets on, on that either. But it's it's something. If If he really wants something wildly expensive or something like that, that is something we are going to achieve. Yeah, we want two wishes, but also we want the schematics. Um, uh, I, giving I, I definitely agree with that. It's a big deal. I, yeah, I, I don't agree with that because we could use the two wishes t to really, really make a difference. You know? We could wish for give it to a schematics. criminal. <laughs> I wish for some outfits and some schematics. Now I do have a sequester have... scroll. You do. That There's is that. valuable. I have the... Gadwin's hammer. I have a uh, trident. <laughs> which, uh, I don't want to give up. We, so we have oh, some yes. things to give away. We do. Uh, we could start with our lowest value items and see and bring in others as the haggling I've got process. a lightning cable <laughs> launcher. Right. Well, uh, that, we've, oh. we have that. Oh. That's good. Okay. We could put it in this. Uh, we could put it in this pretty chest from the the the, the abatus from the wine the wine place the wine. Oh wow, that was only like a few days ago. Woo! Um, really wants. Yeah. Really wants. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Well, they they might like the the novelty of an erosian wine, but I don't know how much value they put on it. We could try. We shouldn't call it. We shouldn't call it Erois. We should call it the Lost Planet. The magic yeah. It's got an air of mystery, mystery to it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, like the it. lost planet. That's Artifacts nice. from the lost planet. Mm. How do we That's prove good. that? I like it. Um, Can't find it anywhere else? Well, that's Slap a, a label on some wine and ponder. Mm. Aren't um, Aracocra yeah, only like on a road? Guys, uh, you don't know? Because we were created by Hester. Have a bird. Oh, Birdman. Oh, me. There you go. Someone else to eat me around. Cool. <laughs> Keep your big cats uh, occupied. <laughs> you no. guys can continue having these conversations throughout the day. Um, unless there's anything else you would like to do or achieve, uh, we can just skip ahead. I think we're good. All good. Cool. I think the only thing is at night, um, a few of you hear something. So, <clears throat> late at night, um, those of you who are who probably don't need to sleep as much, so I think Quill and Nova, you need to sleep normal amounts, right? But uh, Lucius, Ayla, mm -hmm. and Sentry only all need about half as much rest. Um, I need all three of you guys. You begin to hear, coming from inside the ship somewhere, a beautiful melody. A song that is ethereally captivating. And I need the three of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, the two elves have advantage because it's a charm effect. So you have advantage on the saving throw. 18 total for me. <laughs> Aura. 18 total. Nine. Wow. Oh yeah, and a plus three for everybody Nine. else. 19. A plus three for everybody 12. else. 12. So what'd you get? 12. So all of you manage to resist this pull, this this luring. Um, the you can tell that the song. You're not sure if it's intentional or not, but you almost feel yourselves wanting to follow where the song is coming from. Like you can feel yourselves like standing up, like being pulled towards the source of it. You feel like something tugging you towards the lounge, but you manage to stop yourselves from acting involuntarily. You manage to keep hold of your own willpower. 
um, as this beautiful, like a, like a, more like almost like a, like a hymn, like this very choral singing voice, this, this harmonious light female voice just kind of echoes through the halls of the ship. Um, um I, I'm not messaging yet because that'll wake up the other two, but if we're all in the corridor being lured out, I see. Assume... No, you're not, you're not being led out, no, because you passed oh. the safe. You're not being pulled away yet. But you feel that that's the effect is trying to, you know, call you towards the source of it. Um, but you resist. Um, I might go snoop. I might go snoop on it. Quietly. Sure. And see if I can recognize it. If it's the uh, Shansara. Is it Ayla... it's... it's not. It's not that kind of preppy, bouncy music. This is like a... Like something you might hear in a church or like something before a battle. It sounds almost like a, a hymn or a prayer almost. Um, what does Sentry and Ayla do? I'm probably going to go out as well um, and try yeah. and see if I can find what it is. Same. Same. So the three of you make your way out. Um, following the source of it, you are led out into the lounge. Um... You can see that Thalia is in the cockpit, but she appears to have um, like very large earmuffs over her ears, and the snakes are kind of awkwardly kind of split, you know, kind of wrapped around this he- this thing around her head, um, and doesn't seem to be paying any attention to it. Um, but the song's coming from Kyrie's turret, like you can hear it echoing down and through um, as this incredibly beautiful, alluring song is. Uh drifting through the ship. Ah. You all heard it too. I need to be very yeah. quiet because if she hears us or sees us listening, she's going to get very embarrassed. Oh, I, I, if she doesn't want to be disturbed, then I'll, I'll go back. I'll, I'll I'll let her sing in peace if that's what she wants to do. Did you feel oh, something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is That's is that her or is she playing music? Because I've seen that she's got music that she likes. It sounds she... live. It, it it doesn't sound recorded. It doesn't okay. sound like this is created by magic. This sounds like a physical voice singing that is filling the the ship and echoing down the long metal corridors and things like that. Um, and it it stops after after a little while. You know, you kind of listen to it for a moment. Um, a few minutes pass, um, and then just one long beautiful note kind of echoes and then just fades away. Um, and then you hear like some muttering coming from the turret, um, some shuffling around. That's it. Beautiful. Uh, but I don't think she'd appreciate us hearing it. <laughs> as much as I'd like to give a round of applause right now. She probably wouldn't like that. Yeah. But uh, do you think she's aware of the the you know, effect that it has. It looks like Sari is aware, at least. Look at the size yeah. of those headphones. Yeah, they're like little yeah. muff. Little muff. I might go, um, I might go up to the cockpit and just tap sure. Alia on the shoulder. Uh, yeah, she kind of like looks up. Oh, pulls them off well you see she kind of hesitates for a moment looks at you and then is like ah okay and then she takes these little earmuffs off wraps them around her neck uh she looks and she's just like i should have thought of course yourself and master lucius are elves i had not realized that elves of erois had the same tendencies to not sleep as my old kind did as well uh Forgive me, I forgot to warn you about Kyrie's song. Uh, you weren't affected by it, were you? You weren't drawn uh, out no, of it. No, I. No, we're we're fine. It it affects Sentry too, by the way. She doesn't she doesn't sleep, um, as much I either. Will... But I mean, it's fine. We just um, got any um spare earmuffs that you know we could maybe. I don't. Have. I the. I had to have these custom made for myself once I became aware of the effect of the song, obviously. Um, I will ask, I will just ask her not to sing. Normally, I, I ask her to only sing to herself when it's everyone else is asleep. She tends to 
stay up a bit later than most uh, because most of my passengers are sound asleep by now. So uh, the song doesn't affect them. So I had not thought that yourselves and Sentry obviously would not be affected. She only does it rarely, but I'll, I'll ask her simply to uh, hold off until you've made your, your way to your, your world, till your, till your home. Um, it's... What is the effect of the song? Just just curious. If it, it obviously didn't uh, affect us, but if it it's did... It's not too dangerous. Uh, her people, back on Lunaria anyway, I know that there are some harpies that live on Archon, but on Lunaria they are a primitive people still. They live out in the tall trees and the mountains, and their songs are used to lure the unwary into ambushes. Uh, they are used to lure people uh, to unfortunate ends. Or well, sometimes in battles, uh, groups of harpies form choirs. Um, these battle choirs distract and disrupt enemy forces. Um, whole inf infantry men will wander off, off away from their objective, uh, pulled away by the harpies' song. Um, Obviously, you can tell it's incredibly beautiful. It's, she has a wonderful voice. I'm loath to stop her singing. Uh, she does find it quite peaceful and relaxing to do. She loves music, uh, Kyrie. One of the few things that she can enjoy without fear of judgment or fear of um, embarrassment. Uh, but, yes, it, all it would simply do is draw you to her, uh, leave you in something of a stupor-like state, just listening to it. Not paralyzed, but just enamored by the song, is all. Well, maybe we could uh, work out a system of us uh, saying, hey, we're going to sleep now, but we need a little uh, bit less time. And then she doesn't so need to eliminate it entirely. It would it just it would be a shame to... Deny yes, her. Yes, sounds... Well, as long as you're comfortable with that. Obviously, I want you all to be comfortable and at peace aboard the ship. So, whatever works for you. I'll speak to the gang. We'll come up with a system. It's fine. But, sure. good to know. Cool. Good to know. She just kind of nods and the little snakes kind of hiss. And then she's just like, well, you should go back and rest. Night. Um, I'll go back and tell that to Lucius and Sentry and see mm -hmm. if we can work out a way to, for when we are asleep, she can sing. For the, for the smaller amount of time, she can sing. Frankly, I don't mind if I'm lured. Um, I think it would, bringing attention to it might um, cause her to stop entirely, knowing that we've heard it already. Yeah, she's Farley said it was harmless, right? Mostly. Mostly. It's harmless, but also I don't think that I I, I don't know. It, it would be good to keep our wits about us if there's another battle that we need to come into and get ready for. It's just might might delay us a little bit. It might, I but guess I'm it's sure fine. She would stop singing if there was a fight. Maybe it could be of use. We could lure all the enemies to us, enamored by her voice. And uh, stop them all fighting us. That could be useful. Put her on an amplifier of some kind. That's sounding like Nova, all these techie words. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Clearly he's been, Lucius has been listening and picked up a few things. Yeah. Mm. Someone's got replaced Bim. Am I right? Anyway, oh, wow. I'm going to go back to <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, the the rest of the evening passes uneventfully. The next few days pass uneventfully. The ship, eventually, the twin star longbow, um, is pulled out of the sticks. The green cylinder-like vortex that has been around you for the last three days, uh, a crack appears in it, and Thalia basically dives the ship directly into that crack. And there's a horrid moment where you see this rushing green wall of these shadowy figures all seemingly screaming and being stretched thin 
loom closer and closer and the ship begins touching it, but then it is sucked and pulled through this tiny crack in the, the demiplane. And you emerge back out into the purple, blue, hazy fog that is the Astral Sea itself. A couple of hours go by as the ship draws closer and closer to a long string, like a long jagged scar of broken rock and asteroids. And Thalia deftly maneuvers in between them and brings you to a stop uh, outside a particularly large looking asteroid. Enormous in size. It could easily house um, perhaps a small town inside of it if you kind of hollowed it out. One section has been cut away, leaving a very obvious shelf um, that seems to extend out. And you can see there are the makeshift signs of stone buildings, metal devices uh, that have been stuck into the rock itself that seem to project some sort of field around the asteroid. Um, Thalia brings the ship and lands it uh, next to a almost pier-like structure made out of carved rock from the asteroid itself. A long bridge of stone juts out from the side. Um, Thalia brings the ship alongside it and fires uh, long wire pitons that anchor themselves into the edges of the asteroid um, and hold it in place um, as she begins lowering the disembarked uh, the, the ramp that leads down. Uh, she picks up her holsters for her arcane pistols and her spell shots. Um, she whistles, big cat kind of pads up next to her. Uh, well, this is the rendezvous place. Uh, this is the uh, mining facility. Um, Zax should meet us out, out there. Um, and you can see that uh, three figures are beginning to make their way out of a large stone building and are standing out in the open. It's quite dark, but there are these glowing spheres of metal and crystal that emanate like a large uh, sphere of light around. Um, you can't see them super well, but at the distance, one appears to be tall and thin with a very elongated head um, of a kind of greenish tinge, wears very vibrant, outrageous clothing, a big long cape behind them. Um, Almost looking a bit like Lando from Star Wars with a kind of like tunic, but then this long cape rolling behind him, uh, behind them. Alongside the that creature on either side are two suits of armor that appear to just walk on their own. They don't appear to have anybody inside them. Kim's favorite. So this is like a, a it's it's like standing on an asteroid, but there's a bubble of air, like a, like I guess. A imagine sky like city somebody had carved. With. Imagine you had like a big round uh, asteroid, and then somebody carved like a big chunk out of a corner of it, like a big cheese right. wedge, um, yeah. which has left like a, a, a flat shelf, and then the rest of it becomes asteroid. And you can see that there are dozens of like little shelves and little tunnels all amongst this whole asteroid. Um, you can see yeah. mining equipment scattered all over the place, big drills that have long since been abandoned. Um, but like outside of the space, bubble, this is just space, open space. to space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have yeah, you yeah, seen yeah. Arcadia? No, it's too far away. Uh, you can probably see okay. it in the distance, like a like a glowing green orb in the far, far, far distance. Okay. Where are we close cool. to right now? Okay. Um, Arcadia. Uh, well, Arcadia. Yeah, yeah. That's the closest to what planet we're to. Or yeah. plane, should I say? Yeah. The plane ship? it. I had the ship on me. Um, but yeah, so, uh, it, I mean, and that is hours and hours and hours of travel away. Um, but yeah, yeah. yeah, there is this little uh, <clears throat> thing. And in fact, I will show you guys before we go on break. Uh, Boop. Well, we've got like oh. Oh. oh, look how big so, the cat is. So I think I've got. I think oh I've got all the dynamic lighting set up. <laughs> but you should be able to see uh, everything that you need to. Lucius will obviously see what he can see, um, and then the rest of you should be able to see what you guys can see. Um, cool. Okay. Nice. Yes, yeah, so the, the lighting is working. Um, so cool. just on a dock, uh, except so yeah. that's not the ocean, that's space. That's just space. Yeah, basically, yes. 
Star. It's just astral space. It's just astral Very space cool. that looms out. The asteroid floats and rotates, but the ship is anchored by these like wire pitons. Um, and yeah, it seems to roll and rotate with it. But you also get a sense that there is gravity out there. Uh, Thalia leads the way. Uh, she's just like, right, follow me. Let me do introductions, and then I'll leave you to negotiating. I'm assuming that's Zax Ravos, right? That is Zax Ravos, yes. Not Zax. Uh, uh, I how, call him how, Zax. How, how ready for a fight should, should we should we should we be? Medium ready, red ready, but not ready. Um, we long My rested, dear right? sweet Nova, to interrupt. <laughs> you did. You've definitely. You've all had lo- multiple long rests. You've had like cool, three cool, days cool. of long yeah, rests, cool. so you're all good. Uh, Thalia looks back at you. Oh, my sweet little Nova. Uh, out here in astral space, always be ready for a fight. Zach owes okay. me a favor. I've worked with him multiple times. I don't trust him. I never trust him. I don't trust anyone. Wow. I trust you. Oh. And she kind of like puts a hand on the side of like your face and it's just like, you shouldn't, my dear. At the end of the day, I am still a smuggler and a criminal myself. And she turns and kind of smiles and winks um, and then begins leading leading you guys to this meeting. Okay. Criminal meeting. We can do this. I'm very nervous seeing just empty space around us. Okay. So Thalia yeah. moves over along with Big Cat. Um, and she just kind of ushers for you all to follow. She like kind of gestures. You can see all sorts of open crates you can see these weird generators, uh, these glowing lanterns and things like that. Um, but the rest of it is just this rocky, rough ground terrain. And then you can see what appears to be some sort of structure that's been built into the uh, parts of the asteroid itself. The creature uh, known as Zax Ravis is... I wonder if I still have a thing I can show you. I don't think I do. I think I deleted it like a dingus. I did. Um, the best way to describe him would be to say... Uh, you know how you see aliens in sci-fi shows like Grey Aliens? Big, elongated head, big, just eyes, no mouth. Yeah. A green-skinned, quite well-musculated, um, like quite well-built version of them. No mouth, but these glowing yellow orbs for eyes. A big, elongated uh, cranium head. He's wearing a long golden tunic with a big cape behind them. Um, tall boots made with black leather and little crystals and studs. Um, you can see a, a, a very intricate kind of belt very much like Thalia is made of some sort of strange material and metal clasps uh, the rest of you you can see that he has some sort of like scabbard with um, a very fancy looking black crystal hilted sword um, and it kind of looks at you with its head cocked in different directions Nova mm-hmm. as you draw closer as soon as the ship opens and you draw closer there's two things. One, you begin to feel pulse oh. coming from Tiangong. The second is as you draw closer to Zax Ravis, it is unmistakable that the sword in his scabbard is a piece of Tiangong. Oh, you can shit. see the telltale blue and black crystal. Um, oh boy. Out here. Wow. Well, the, shit. well, this is a conundrum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a conundrum, isn't it? Now we have the to make a double deal. Zax Ravas uh, gestures. It kind of makes a very formal-looking bow, and in your minds, all of you hear. He doesn't speak. There's no. Or they don't speak. There's no mouth. But you hear a voice in your minds. Ah. It is most pleasing to be seeing you once more, dear Thalia. Much time has passed between our last coming together. I am disappointed that you have not spoken with the, with us before now. We have missed your company. 
Uh, and you can see no smile, but there is uh, the eyes seem to sparkle and, and shimmer. Uh, Thalia kind of rolls her eyes. Yes, yes, Zax, let's get over with the pleasantries, shall we? You still owe me for the last job. I have some clients that are in need of your services. You're going to help them, and you're going to do it at a good price, and we'll call ourselves even. How about that? I don't want any of your false pretenses. I know what a cold killer you are. Ah. We are most deeply wounded by these statements you are to be making, Thalia. We are but a businessman. And business is ruthless. Welcome, strangers. I am the creature Zax Ravens, most humble and worthwhile businessman. Your language is difficult on occasion so please to be forgiving of my strange speaking though perhaps speaking is not the correct terminology for my communications to you uh, hello <laughs> it's good to meet you uh, I'm Lucius and everybody else Introduce yourselves. Uh, oh, I am Quill. Hopefully, this form of communication works for you, Zax Ravos. Yes, I am. To be understanding no. <laughs> your speaking words, even if this one cannot replicate them itself, this one is to be understanding. Yes. This, this one, okay. Mm. Zax Hello, Ravis. I... Sorry. <laughs> no, go on, go on. No, go, 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 go. Say, hi, I'm, I'm Sentry. Nice, nice to meet you. This one is most honored. A guardian. Such beings believed lost. Remarkable. Much price would you fetch in many collectors. <laughs> yeah, how about no? No, thank you. Sentry belongs <laughs> in a museum. A disappointment. Many credits. But there is other business we are to be negotiating. You have a need for this one, for Zax Ravas. What need can I fulfill? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, but can mm. I um, can I connect with Tiangong? And just staring at Zax's sword, can I mm. test like what it would feel like if I try and pull it? Not not enough that they would sense sure. it, but just that I could see that there's a movement. Sure. Let's uh, let's make an Arcana check uh, just to see how you know this requires deep Ooh. meditation and concentration. Um, this requires an inner, innate sense of uh, maybe not an Arcana check actually. Before you roll, um, no. just do a charisma. Sorry, do a charisma roll. So D twenty plus your charisma Chris modifier, because this is more about your innate power rather than your knowledge of magic. Seventeen. See, in total. I'm better. So here's, here's the kicker, Nova, and you're going to know this, and then it's up to you to communicate it and everything else. You can... Tiangong is sensing that there is a shard of Tiangong here, but it's not where this figure is standing. You can see the outline of it, you can see the shape of it, but that isn't... But the sense of where the Tiangong shard is is much deeper, maybe on the other side of this asteroid. Um, it's it's here. That's why you didn't notice until you stepped out onto the thing. Like, it's on this asteroid, but not right where it should be. Uh, okay. So, the, Zax Ravis looks at the rest of you and is like, what am I to be assisting? What is this one to be assisting with? Please. 
inform me of your desire. And it looks to everyone else. I'll look at Quill. <laughs> Fuck Christ. Um, oh, Hesper. <laughs> oh, Hesper. Uh, flick through notes. Uh, Hesper, Hesper. Um, Zax Ravos. Um, we require... Well, we would negotiate if you have in your possession schematics to the Tassadar. Ah. Very complex. Very difficult. Powerful ship. Much, much, much price to be asking. But possible. Yes. This one has such things. What negotiation do you offer? What repayment can you provide? Thalia, do you good can... Captain Thalia's favour only worth so much. You see Thalia's do you consider like yourself Do you consider yourself to be an enemy of the Valkyrian Empire? <laughs> the laugh isn't a laugh, it's somebody telling you ha 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 uh, oh. We are all, we are all both enemies and potential allies of the Empire. The Empire wishes much to control, to dominate, but business opportunities, plenty. Information, valuable. Possessions and recognized. magical trinkets. Maybe Those can greatly, be found on the Tassadar. Greatly valued. Perhaps, but immediate payment required. No promises, then. Doesn't sound like a negotiation to me. I can provide immediately what you seek. My payment must be equally immediate. Come. And then he turns and begins gesturing uh, to head back, like, with his things. Discuss inside. Safer. Hmm. Okay. Lucius is making his way back to the ship. <laughs> as we, I guess as we start walking, can I messenger ring the gang? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. And just say ha ha ha. Um, and can I, uh, I, I, I think Nova would just be like, Tiangong, he, he, Shard, they, they, Shard, they, he, the, Tiangong. Someone's oh, taking her mind. Good. Nova manages to get out. Are you okay, Nova? Okay. Their sword, but but it's not here. It's it's not. Is is, is this an illusion? Is this is Does is Zax, this sax? Your ring's breaking up, oh. Nova. Come. See now. Business. Yeah. Who talks in our minds? Who talks in our minds? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wondered that, as Kim, but as Nova. No, fair. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, might have, he might have heard it. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we can, yeah, we can head inside and talk. I mean, what's it going to be? More armoured guards? Uh, just guns pointing us straight away? <laughs> Probably. Uh, before well, we get too separated, can I give can I give everybody a quick a quick blessing? A real real uh, quick yeah. bless. Um, so yeah, you watch as Sentry begins focusing her energy of her matrix and begins generating this spell. And I think that as you begin doing that Sentry, you cast Bless, but that's the point where the Zaxaravis turns around and is just like, ah. Discovered perhaps making Preparations. Uh, I just, I'll, I'll say no. F forgive me. Um, we've we we've had many difficult journeys, and many many of our friends have fallen along the way. Just a precaution. Fostering courage. Of course. Sure. <laughs> We're boned. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I guess we follow him then. Yeah, sure. Well, move yourselves, move you yourselves up. Uh... As, as you move forward, uh, you see that there are more figures waiting inside. Um, you see uh, a couple of shadowy. I don't know who exactly can see them. I imagine Quill, Sentry, and Nova can't see them. Um, but uh, Lucius, are you moving up, Lucius, or are you I remaining am, yeah. where you are? Okay. He's lurking. So um, <laughs> Lucius and Ayla may just start to see uh, the very edges. Oh, maybe not. Um, but yeah, he begins leading you inside, uh, and as he reaches the doorways. Uh, the two kind of armored figures stand on either side. Uh, Zax turns to you all. Um, and I'm trying to think. This is where I should have done some preparation. Activates his trap with. card. You could six, prepare six. in the break if you wish. Yeah, let's do that. Give me a second to think about something. So yeah, let's take a break okay. while I have a think about. We go that. into we go into a room. We see uh, some guards, and he does something. But this sketchy criminal, he's about to a. You can vote for it in the break. A. Screw us over. B. Be totally chill and give us what we need. Or C. We somehow find a way to screw him over. <laughs> or option D. Yeah. Asteroid blows up. Hmm. Vote in the break. <laughs> A. Big old A. Sure. That's an A. Do that. I'm more interested That's an A from me, bro. You've got some names to read out. I do indeed. Um, I will read out the uh, donations that were made during the Curse of Strahd stream um, last Thursday. I won't be reading the messages, so there won't be any spoilers for Curse of Strahd, so don't worry about that. Um, but I will quickly run through them, and then I will get to the donations made today. Uh, Trot, if you're still there, can I see the total of what we're at as well? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's on your forehead. There it is. <laughs> it's so small. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that... 2,987... Okay, 3,000 buckaroos. Nearly 3,000 in the last two streams that we've done are going straight to Black Lives Matter. So thank you very much, everybody, for that. Thank you. Uh, what was the What's the date on Thursday? That's um, a great question. Uh, Thursday was uh, Thursday was the fourth of June. Fourth of June, right? I will just rattle through these ones. I'm just getting to the bottom. Um, so I will yeah, say I a thank you to Shazabella, socialism for the win. Uh, El Jonskar or Jonskar, maybe uh, Bobby and that Norwegian guy. Thank you for your donations, Dabadees. Uh, donated with $63 due, so thank you very much. Um, Psylockian, Jham96, Jensi Defen, um, thank you for your donations. Lucifaz with a half hundo. Mian is with $40, thank you very much. S.A. Caitling, Kathy Heck, Sparky Rob, Raging Rhino, 101011101, uh, thank you very much. Nightjar, uh, Kate Burrows with a half hundo. HRH Brittany, E Duffy five two two one, the person I don't know. Uh, thank you for your donations as well. Squared ninety seven with sixty three uh, dollar reduce. Thank you very much. Alvarez five with hundred and nine dollars going straight to Black Lives Matter. Thank you very much. Metamani with a half hundo. Sad pair with a quarter hundo. That Norwegian guy, a cunning linguist. Bandai Nenzai, Bandai Nenzai again. Oh wow, actually that was two uh, half hundos from Bandai Nenzai for a full hundo. Um, thank you very much uh, for that. Um, Cyrion, um, Christopher Clive, Cat Handrill 17, or maybe Cathandrill. Uh, thank you very much. Um, one Cuttlefish with a quarter hundo, Vistola with a quarter hundo, Lauren with a quarter hundo, Starhawks 2K, uh, Elenair, um, Elon Bear with a full hundo, Varys, Lava GCA, NL45, uh, where are we at? Are we at today yet? Doesn't look like it. This is all from Thursdays. Ghost of Sprinkles, Risha Knight, Ravager 4 with a quarter hundo, Nylena with just over $30, uh, Krizzy29 with a half hundo, La 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 Lily33 with a quarter hundo, um, The Spooky Boat, uh, Spooky Ghost with a quarter hundo, Starless Cities, The Neb, quarter hundo, Bill uh, 90 Oh, no, wait, we're at today. We're at today. So, 
Yeah. All except the final two there were from Thursdays. Thank you all very much. That was uh that was to raise how much was that? Um twelve hundred, I think it was. Um uh, twelve one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, so all of those went towards Black Lives Matter. All of these are also going to Black Lives Matter as well. Uh, except this time this is the I'm reading the messages. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um yeah, and that's the total so far. So if you so would like to donate uh, that's totally so far. Uh, if you'd like to um, donate as well, all of it uh, on High Rollers D and D, not on the Oxcast, uh, will be going towards Black Lives Matter. Um, mm -hmm. So from today, Starless Cities. Uh, I've wanted to donate for a while, but felt tonight was a good time as any. Um, thank you for sharing your wonderful stories with the world, and thank you for using your voice for good during this time. Black Lives Matter always, and Happy Pride. Yes, indeedy, Happy Pride as well. Yes, um, yeah. The Neb, the underscore Neb, with a quarter hundo, no message, thank you very much. Uh, Phil R96, or maybe Filler96, I feel bad because I'm calling you a filler there, but whatever. Uh, keep up the awesome work, here's to a great stream and cause, hashtag BLM. Uh, thank you very much. Team, uh, Team Monkey, or Team Onky? <laughs> I'm going to go with Team Monkey. Half a hundo, uh, such a fan of you guys. Thank you for the amazing adventures every week. Thank you very much for your donation. Dosendorf. Um, hi, HR gang. Just wanted to show my support towards this important moment in time. I've been watching since Lightfall began and will continue to watch you all till the stars go out in astral space. Ah, oh, beautiful. Love you all and good fortune from me into the future. Thank you very much, Dosendorf. Frank the NPC. Episode prediction. Bim is resurrected by the eldritch forces of the staircase and returns as Uber Bim to seek his revenge, Bim the White. Uh, on the light, lighter side, Big Cat and Quill find love in each other's arms. No, that did not happen. Oh, those wacky sloths. And of course, Black Lives Matter. Thank you very much, Frank, the NPC. Um, Thanks, Frank. Emma, Emma Ann, I think that is. Uh, amazing cause. Love you guys. Thank you very much. Spider Hybrid. Hey, crew. Been here since Lightfall Session 1. Amazing. You guys got me into RPGs in the first place. Great to see you guys supporting such a great cause. Keep up the good work and roll high. Thank you very much. We'll try. Um, Pajal or Pajal with a donation, no message. Thank you very much. Not a cult Zen with a quarter hundo. Thank you for fundraising with the streams and thank you for all the years of D&D. Also, Tom and Ree, could you say hi to Tim and Shannon for me? I love those two. Um, no, we're not affiliated with Tim and Shannon of the Chaos Twins. Um, right. I don't know how they got the stream key for the High Rollers channel, but we're trying to work on it. Right. We're trying to get them banned, um, but they just keep coming back. It's honestly, it's ridiculous. They keep uploading to the YouTube late as well. It's, it's uh, crazy. I'm professional. I totally Who forgot. I totally forgot to upload the last Chaos Twins. It went up like Friday, and that was from a week ago. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tim did. Tim did that. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Not Tim. Um. Cool. Did you want to carry on the High Rollers channel, Trot, or...? Um... I absolutely can. So I was at 5.15 by Maddie, and I will go quickly get myself a drink. Put some uh, purple drink. How long ago was that? 5.15. Half 5.15, Maddie. Okay. This is on High Rollers, was it? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, let's see. He's on high rollers, yes. Well, as soon as Tommy gets back, we'll jump back on and we'll keep playing. Well, let I me like know if you've left heard... that dice half on. Huh? Oh, you want it fully on? No, I don't want it on anywhere. <laughs> Thank you, too. Sorry if you've heard this already. Uh, Gaming Little Red for your donation. Are we just doing donations and no message? Or are we doing the message as well? I'm a bit behind on the podcast, but I wanted to come here to out. donate. Good job, guys. And you are doing great. Did you hear that already? Thanks. Rick, Ricky Ray Ray, thanks for your donation. Hey, guys, can't catch you today live, but I know that donations are going towards BLM, so I wanted to make sure that I helped. Thank you for all that Thank you do. Much. Thank you very much for your generous donation. Uh, Frarin23 donated a quarter hundo. E-L-E. -E. Everybody love everybody. Everybody love everybody. It was all caps second time around. Holy shit, we at 3,000 now? Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. Oh my I was going to say, 000, and then I got sank in my eye. Yeah. Just, yeah. Amazing. Thank you so it. much. 
Forever is fine. Donated two streams. Two hundo. Uh, nice. Long time watcher, first time donator, wants to help. Uh, show support for a great cause. Thanks for helping to fight the good fight. Hashtag BLM. Thank you very much. Uh, Varus donated. Thank you, Thank you very much. The fake R Ribombi. Thanks for your donation. Um, and then we had a hondo from Kaczynski uh, donating. Thanks for supporting BLM and thanks for the entertainment over the last few years. Normally we support by buying merch rather than donating, but this is an excellent cause to worth an exception. Thank you very much. Uh, I didn't see uh, Maddie, Tom. Serial um, Jester, did you read that one? Donated a hundo regarding the Stride episode. Um, I don't want to say any spoilers on that, um, no. but thank you for that donation. Um, Pixie Are you reading from the donation uh, history? Because Streamlabs yes. can sometimes be a bit weird. Okay. Yes, Pixie mm -hmm. Pickles, did you read that one? Donated uh, two hundo. Started watching Lightfall April 10th and caught up. You read that one? No? No. 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 Okay. Uh, caught up to current Arose in time for my birthday yesterday. Woo! Thanks, y'all, for being beautiful lights and humans and forces for good and change in the world. Thank you. Game Pro 250 donated a half hundo. Very kind. Thank you. Missed donations Thursday, so I'm glad to get the chance to chip in today. Thanks for all the great content and supporting <laughs> great causes. I Dunnykin. Thank you. Hundo. Hi, Rollers. Much love for doing this. Hashtag wow. BLM. Thank you very much. Um, all right. As soon as Ree's ready, we'll jump back on. There's, there's loads. There's so many. Ray there's loads. 101, 101. Yeah, we're, I don't know if we're going to get them all done by... Yeah. So that's we're not where we're them. at. I'm at now just a couple more, and then we're actually caught up, if that's all right. All right. Frank, yeah. the NPC, donated. Had to throw in another eight to get us to 3K. Happy Pride. Stay safe, people. Hey. Hashtag BLM. Hashtag Pride. Thank you very much. Uh, right. Lopsided Gorgon, donated a hundo. Thank you for using your platform in such an incredible way. Stay safe. Thank you for donating. Much appreciated. Stay safe. And good message. Very good. Ace of Thorns donated. Uh, hashtag BLM. What more needs to be said? Exactly. Yep. Thank you very much. Sure. And that's it for now. But please for keep now. donating we'll to a worthy cause. Yeah. Much appreciated. That's it. It's not about the message. We'll read, read the out. rest out everyone. in the... Indeed. Yeah, but we will read out more at, we'll the, end, so. at the end. We'll try and read Yeah. We might not get through them all, but we'll try. Um, okay. So, we rejoin as the party have landed in a abandoned mining facility in an astral space asteroid belt um i guess it's kind of i don't know what these would represent in the astral space i guess these are like broken fragments of an old world perhaps that's kind of been scattered oh and uh, distended um but they have since been become just lifeless floating rocks uh, you have been meeting with Zax Ravis, a uh, uh, a criminal figure um, who Thalia knows, who uh, potentially has the opportunity to provide you with uh, schematics for the Tassadars to help you rescue Valor at a later date. And you are making your way um, across uh, into a large building that he is leading you all towards. Um, uh, Nova has recognized that he carries a piece of Tiangong. Um, but not where it should be. There seems to be some strangeness as to where the actual shard is um, as everyone is making their way there. Thalia and Big Cat begin making their way uh, just more towards the door as Zax is leading them inside into a building itself. Uh, yeah, so are you guys just following at this point? Pretty much. Yes. I mean... So they've got armored knights flanking the door now, uh, but sure. Well, he he already had, but he had two two animated armors with him as bodyguards. With them as bodyguards, he's he's not a man or a woman. He's they are just a alien being. They they yeah. are a fiend creature. They have no uh, role per se. So yeah, so they they are just making their way inside. Um, the two armored figures are now sort of on either side of this doorway, uh, and he has just stepped further into this building that you can see ahead of you. Okay. I'm going to, like, look at uh, Thalia and just, like, gauge, gauge her expression. Yeah. Yeah, just put yourself where you're going to be, Trot. Don't worry too much about, like, the camera and stuff. Just put yourself where you want to be. Uh... How's, how's Thalia looking? Is she spooked? No. She's just, just, like... She's just, like... She just is following after Zax, 
Um, she probably turns around and says something like, um, <clears throat> if you don't mind, Zax, we're in a bit of a hurry. Please do try and get to the point of it all. Um, and yeah, he, he just sort of gestures everyone forward. Um, Damn it, she's too cool. Yeah. As they we're move moving, like does mm -hmm. does the pulse, does the feeling of Tiangong get any stronger as we're going into this building? Into this, um, it does. Is it building or yeah, ship? Yeah, it, it's a building. No, it's a building. Yeah. Uh, it appears to be a building that connects uh, further back and a little bit, but not massively. Uh, you get the sense that that shard is on the other side of the asteroid. It's not. It, it's further in to like the whatever facility this once used to be. Um, but as you kind of mm. step inside, you see that at the back of the room, there are several more figures waiting. Um, as uh, the alien creature Zaxravis turns around, um, as you all kind of gather near the entrance, um, he turns around and it's just like, ah, you must be to be forgiving of this one. You have I mentioned, you me you asked, is this one an ally of the Valkyrian Empire? The answer is no. But that does not mean that the Valkyrian no. Empire does not offer good business opportunities. I'm afraid that your companions, Thalia, have a most considerable bounty upon their head if returned Shit. to the Empire alive. Ah, oh, uh, goddamn. He, he, the, the, Zach Ravis just says, as a professional courtesy, I offer you the chance to walk away and leave your companions with me. Uh, I still do owe you a favor after all. Uh, Negotiation haven't finished. Oh, oh, they have. Uh, and you see that the, the figure that was Zach Ravis disappears. Uh, it just. Yeah. <laughs> fades away. You still hear the voice in your head though, and you just hear a an order of capture them, but alive, uh, as a number of figures begin moving uh, towards you. Hey, Two who voted for armored... option A in the break? Because you uh, were correct. <laughs> you were correct. I voted for A. And we are going to roll initiative. No! Fucking stressed. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Oh man! I was gonna cast a spell magic. But... All right. Well, 11. too slow. Uh, Three of us are eleven. So, Quill <laughs> eleven. Nova eleven. Yep. Sentry was eleven as well. Eleven. Yep. Uh, Ayla total. Six. Sixteen. Sixteen. Lucius. Seven. Seven. Very good. I will auto roll oh, everybody boy. else. So I think I've got the highest dex. What's your dex, uh, Nova? Uh, it's already done crap. it for me, um, so I'm just going to go in the order that the D&D Beyond Encounter Builder has provided. Thanks, D&D oh, yeah, Beyond Nova's, Encounter Builder. Nova's more dexterous than me. Uh, yeah, I have Domino. Nova, Quill, and Sentry. Um, so I'm guessing it's using dex based for that. Uh, yeah. Thalia is the first one to react. Uh, and you see her just kind of roll her eyes as she's just like, divine sake, Zax, really? She turns and just, and you see her beginning to pull out one of her arcane pistols, just like, he's somewhere on this asteroid, and trust me, he's got those schematics, if nothing for else, for saving his, uh, for blackmail. Let's, let's deal with these things and find him quickly. And she just pulls out her pistol and she's going to fire twice at one of the animated uh, creatures. So cool. They have she's pretty cool. As well. uh, so her first shot will be a uh, only a 12 to hit, uh, which is not enough. It bounces off the arcane blast, bounces off one of the animated creatures' uh, torsos. Her second shot, however, is uh, a absolute blast to the face. Uh, natural as, twenty from an NPC, our 20. favorite. What a classic, eh? It's a it's a Mark Games <laughs> classic uh, with a max damage for twenty four <laughs> points of damage. Oh my god! Oh my god! Sure. He's bought the VIP dice from Roll Twenty. 
I mean, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. It's still it's going so she, the right direction. It's fine. She pulls out one pistol in a smooth motion. Blam, blam against uh, the most. Uh, we'll put it on this one. Say here. Thanks. Uh, and yeah, it just you see it get annihilated as this blast of energy smashes into uh, the one oh, just wow. next to Ayla. Um, then Thalia will just basically spend her turn moving back a little bit, putting some uh, distance between her and the other creatures. Uh, then... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh-oh. What's coming in? You see, um, teleporting out of the shadows of the room uh, and appearing between you and the ship is a creature that I can oh. only describe as a seven foot tall insect like <laughs> creature with two sets of arms. One set of arms built into its shoulders at the top of its, above its head, and then a second set of arms uh, below its body. Uh, this one appears to be holding a large, an exceedingly large crossbow, but rather than normal string and bolts, it has an energy, like a beam of energy, uh, and it's charging one of them up. And in its lower arms, it's holding this crossbow. And then its upper arms, um, it just has these two wicked knives. Um, and it speaks in this uh, telepathically uh, to all of you once again. Uh, and it, you just hear this like, ah, oh, sorry, everybody. Got the orders from the boss. Got to take you in. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. No, not Korg. Yeah. Oh. It's not Korg. Isn't Piss it? This off, one's guys. name is Glorp. This is Glorp. Uh, and you see Thalia is just Piss like, oh, for goodness sakes, Glorp, what are you doing here? And uh, yeah. Uh, and in fact, he's oh. not going to attack. He is going to generate a sphere of dark. Why would he do a thing like that? Radius. Because he's cool. <laughs> Piss off, guys. He is. He is cool. Piss off, guys. So this is... That's... Uh, that's 5, 10, 15... And it pretty much hits everyone, uh, right? Who did, who did yeah. you bless, um... Re? Out of the three? Yeah, he, that bless did go off, so... Yeah, yeah, but who, who? Everyone, everybody minus big cat. Okay. I think I get. Oh wait, I get five. So one, one, two, three, four. Actually, no, I can do everyone but myself. So everybody gets a bless. Cool. So a D four okay. on attack rolls D4 or saving, saving throws. throws and attack rolls. Yeah. Yes. Uh, cool. However, you are all plunged into magical darkness as a giant cool. sphere of darkness completely surrounds you. Uh, where I want it. Sweet. Can't Great. It now. Damn it, roll 20. Um, yeah, you are just engulfed in a giant sphere of dark darkness that surrounds you entirely. Uh, dark vision does not help. Um, this is magical darkness. So anybody who cannot see magical darkness is effectively blind whilst inside it. Ayla, it is your turn. Sweet. Um, can I step forward? Mm-hmm. You kind of stumble out and you find yourself inside a building and you can see one of these creatures next to you um, and a giant sphere of black behind you. I will rage and give him okay. a little smack in the face, please. Here I go, killing again. <sighs> Boy. 16. Uh, against the armor, the animated armor next to you, no, this thing's armor is clearly built to withstand nope. such blows. You wail down all, two then. heavy hammer blows, but it just seems to shudder as its shoulders and body are uh, stunned for but a moment. Um, but seems I see to how it's going to be, roll 20. I uh, see. Nova Vita. One of those days. Um, so how how many how many people are there, aliens? How many, apart from apart from Right now, you can't boy, see I any of them. Boy. You can see nothing oh, but blackness right now. But well, before, before the blackness went down, like uh, you saw several armored, like animated armored creatures. Um, that's okay. and then the the one with the energy crossbow that put you in the darkness is what you've seen. Stupid glorp. Um, can I cast wall of light? Do you need to be able hmm. to see where you're placing it? 
No. Hold on, I've got to slow up. Um, bloody hell. Uh, a wall, a shimmering wall of bright light appears at a point you can choose within range. So my range is okay. 120 yeah. foot. Um, and then it casts bright light. Um, mm -hmm. So would that negate uh, darkness? Uh, I will tell you it does not. No. Nope. Okay. I don't believe so. Actually, I don't know. Uh, I think the daylight spell does, but I don't think just bright light does. Hmm. I think it has to have a very specific I'm thing. sure it has to be a very specific thing. Or yes. Uh, Non-magical light says, can't do it. Because it. it's magic Any of the spell's light, area so. overlaps with an area created by a spell of second level or lower, the spell that created the light is available. So no, it would, because um, Wall of Light is a high level even. spell, so it would, it would evaporate dark. Yeah. It's oh, cool. fifth level. So... Mm -hmm. mm, can I... <laughs> Can I essentially create a wall? I'm trying to think what's most effective. Um, a wall that's around us? Well, you can draw us? it. You should be able to have the, oh, the yeah. free hand or the draw shape tool. You can <laughs> I just tried to draw it, it on VMix. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Um, <laughs> so was it? 120 see, so feet. So you've um, got five, five, six 60 feet. 60 foot long. So 60 foot. 60 foot long. Uh, where is the drawing tool? 5, 10, 15, oh no, I'll catch a big cat in it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 5, 60. Okay, so uh, if I... Just draw it and it gives 5, us a big idea and then I'll describe what it looks like for the podcast. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Uh, I don't know if that's... There we go. Okay. Yep. Uh, ignore the bit that's under Ayla. That's one square too many. Ignore the ignore the bit that's under Ayla. I I overdrew it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ashley, so, still in the Sorry, pack. Can I adapt? Can I, can I adapt like... it by one? Yes. And and if I erase the bit that's by Big Cat, can I have that five foot on the armored suit that Ayla's fighting? You you draw it where you want to put it. You delete Why the previous one it? and then you draw it. It's it's just gonna there's no erase. The it's a select. There's no you erase select function. It. You select it. You just do the select tool select. and then you can delete it. Select tool. So what you're trying to do is basically create a line from one of the armored guardians uh, that Halo was fighting. One of the armored guardians that loops around towards back where um, Big Cat is. Um, just ignore that so, last bit where Big Cat is. Armored guardian Halo is fighting all the way around everybody. All yeah, the way around just, us. For my for my benefit, I, five, I kind ten. of want to be able to see it. Five, well. ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. So it's as I've drawn it there. Just ignore the tail that's to the right of Big Cat. Ignore that bit. I'm trying to figure out how to erase it now, and I can't. Like that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Ignore you just, that. You just select it and delete it, Kim. You just literally select the blue line and then delete it. For yeah, some reason, it, I can't there. select it. There we go. Five, yeah, okay. 10, 15, so you've created 20, a wedge 30, between 30, you guys 30, and the building 30, itself. 60. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, by creating this kind of wedge, you've separated yourselves from the uh, creature that teleported outside, uh, Glorp. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the darkness, the amount of light that this thing shed, obliterates. <laughs> you turned Whoa. to nothing, um, Mark. <laughs> you slowly just yeah. went Your mic, your mic went weird. Yeah. Blue, 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 blue. Is it better now? Yeah. Hello? Uh, yeah, so that? you obliterate the darkness. The spell completely annihilates that. And you now have a wall of light basically spreading out from one end of the building um, and then behind you guys to separate you from Glorp, the one who had created the darkness. This uh, insect right. um, creature called a Mezgla. Yeah. Can the suit of armor that it landed on make a constitution saving throw, please? DC uh, 17. It passed. <laughs> oh Natural 20. <laughs> Natural 20. Good lord. It loves me. What can I look? I want to get back to the table, guys. I'm, I want to get back to the table. Even though roll 20 loves me, I don't know why it loves me, but it loves me. I can't help it. <laughs> it loves right? me. Um, I it still, just does. It still takes half damage. Hold on a minute. It takes half as much sure. damage, so... 4d8 
is way. coming your way. Exactly Twenty-three oh, divided nice. is nice. Um, Tom, divide 11? that for me, would you, darling? Eleven. Eleven. It's rounded down, right? Yeah. It is yeah. Uh, which is yeah. enough 11. that the the suit of armor is incinerated by the light. Like whatever oh. radiant energy what, really? powers this thing. Well, this is the one that Thalia blasted. This is oh, the yeah, one that Thalia. Yeah. Oh, the crit. In, the, in the head. Yeah. Um, and then the the wall of radiant light just ev evaporates the rest of it. Just just turns it to slag as the mm -hmm. armor just crumples to the ground. Um, cool. Okay. Evaporated. Nova. That's anything it. else? If not, That's Quill, all I got. then Sentry. All right, Quill then Sentry. Oh, could I shout out? You don't need our bodies to claim the bounty. Um, and what? then. <laughs> You know what he says about that? Everyone, and then, everyone like, else is confused, right? Like, everyone else is confused by what Quilter said. I'm okay, still in negotiation mode. They just need, like, a feather, right? A feather and maybe, like, I don't know, a fingernail from Nova. Just take that to <laughs> Carpeer the Empire. He said he's alive. He Does said he he's alive. Oh. Does he understand Do you not what a bounty is? <laughs> Did you not listen? They ah. said to take us there alive. Yeah, but worst case, I don't think Starbane will care if he thinks we're dead. If we go back to that spaceship, create a clone of ourselves. <laughs> right, Quill, what are you doing? You I'm doing uh, a on everyone. Um, well, it's oh, it's choose three creatures. Um, so yeah, I'll do myself, Lucius, and Nova, um, oh. and give. 10 HP. 10 additional oh. HP. Oh, nice. Temp on nice. top. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you, Shan. Okay. Thanks. Anything else, Quill? And Let's... then that's, that's me. I will sort of go a little bit further back, so I'm kind of more surrounded by this this uh, this wall. Okay. Ooh. Sentry. Um, I will move up uh, next to Lucius, so I'm in a nice defensive mm -hmm. position. Um, and mm -hmm. then I'd like to, um, bonus action cast Divine Favor on myself. Okay. Sure. Um, and then I'll just, I'll hold out for a Sizzity sec and see what happens. Okay. Alright, so you empower your weapon with Divine Favor and take a defensive position next to Lucius. Uh, one more of these insectoid-like things uh, appears to be at the back of the room. Um, doesn't teleport or anything like that, but it will... Uh, you see its little tiny claw hands uh, built into its shoulders begin moving up and down as if casting a spell, um, and it's going to try and cast Dispel Magic on the Wall of Light. Poop you. Uh, which it fails Poop to do. Poop on you. Well, Hooray! it fails to do it, because it's a fourth level spell, right? Uh, fifth. I have fifth level fifth spells level now. Spell, right? So yeah, it fails to do so. Um, and you just hear this kind of chittering uh, of annoyance coming its, from its direction. Uh, Lucius, Virian, Elowin, LMS. Thanks for the full title. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to move forward a smidge. Actually, I've got fucking 120 range on this thing. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is cast Hypnotic Pattern at a 30-foot cube, which I assume mm -hmm. would catch uh, those three Does the, the cube there. need to origin from you, or do you choose a point and then it's a cube from I any create point? a twisting param color that weaves through in a 30 foot cube within range. Oh, perfect. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so those three at the top will be cubed up, hardcore. And I like to think I'm using my new glamour weave magical Ooh. fabric to create the pattern yep. on my body mm -hmm. first, almost like LED t shirts, and then it appears <laughs> um, mimicked okay. in space. Like I'm pulling perfect. that pattern from my glamour weave first. Okay. That's just flavor, that's all. Uh, and that is a wisdom saving throw of 16, please. 16. So that is a fail, even with advantage. The two animated armors are unaffected by it. They cannot be charmed. They cannot be, you know, dazzled and confused. They are just constructs. But the insectoid creature, yeah, is affected by the spell. I think it, what, in it in incapacitates them or something if they're affected by it, as long as they're staring at it. Charmed. And incapacitated. Yep. Yes. I don't think 
The spell ends for an affected creature if it takes any damage, or if someone else uses okay. an action to shake them out of their stupor. And I'll call out, okay. the one at the back, don't hit it. The good thing, because you see Big Cat eyeing it up. Uh, who is next? But Big Cat will instead strike at the uh, animated creature in front of it. Uh, the animated piece of armor. It will attempt to claw it. Ow! And it just bats it to the side uh, with its, with its yeah. big paw. Uh, for a total of six points of damage. Oh, oh good job, Big Cat. We have a, the bless as well. Uh, not to the damage. I don't think you add bless to damage. Uh, I think bless attack. is just to attack, oh, attack rolls and saving throws. Oh, yeah. I yeah. get them too modeled up. Um, and he hit, he hit anyway, so Same. I didn't worry about it for the attack roll. Um, yeah, Big Cat just swipes at one of these animated suits of armor. Uh, you see it kind of like thud to the side, uh, and then the three of them all activate simultaneously. Uh, one of them will move to engage uh, Ayla, one of them will go fine, and, uh, and oh, basically make towards Lucius for creating the uh, hypnotic pattern, um, and then the other one will hit Big Cat back. Uh, so, Ayla, this is against you. It tries to strike you twice with these kind of clunky armored fists. Uh, the first one misses very easily. Uh, the second one is only a 14, so they kind of swing at you with these two metallic fists, but you dodge to the side, no problem. Uh, the next one will attack Big Cat, who doesn't have a very high AC. Uh, the first I one, however, misses Big, Big Cat. Cat okay, so that's disadvantage. Uh, I'll do the disadvantage on its second attack. Basically, yeah, with Sentry's help and Big Cat just kind of backing up and using his strength, this thing is just whoosh, 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 missed completely uh, as the animated armor fails to hit. And then the last one will make two attacks against Lucius. Um, that's an 18 to hit Lucius. Yeah. Sentry's like, ooh. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second one is a 22, Lucius. That's a hit in. Uh, that's, so, <laughs> that's eight points of bludgeoning damage from the first attack. And is hypnotic pattern um, concentration? Uh, yeah. Can you make a con saving throw, DC 10, please? Plus yeah, your plus uh, bless. Plus bless. And another D4. Oh! The bless isn't going to help. Well, I I'll don't do know, maybe. Anyway. I'll do it anyway. It's a uh, six. <laughs> Total. And even with Sentry's Aura, that's like nine, I think. So that's nine. a fail. Uh, so the hypnotic pattern fades <laughs> as you conjure Aww. it. And then this armored suit just walks up and punches you in the face. And you're like, <laughs> I was uh, mesmerized and then the by second... my own glamour Jesus. weave. <laughs> it's like, oh, the wow. second one does another eight points of bludgeoning damage as well. As uh, both attacks do max Roll damage. Max, <laughs> max damage. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, Katie, yeah. I'm only on Lucius. I did also. Only on Lucius. I want to point out, yeah, only on Lucius. Against Big Cat, I rolled a four, a five, and a three. So, <laughs> to hit. <laughs> it only is Lucius. It's just roll 20 hates Lucius. <laughs> um, as it does so. Uh, that is all of the animated suits of armor. Uh, Thalia will go next. Um, you see her look around. Uh, she will call out and say, we should try and he's probably on his ship somewhere once we deal with these ones I think there must be a there must be a way through to the rest of the mine in here and she pulls out uh, one of her spell shots loads it into one of her pistols snaps the chamber back and then she is going to uh, fire it at so I guess your concentration effect has ended now in fact actually she'll aim it at the one uh, hitting Lucius she'll step forward uh, nope. careful not to hit the wall of light and then she'll hit the one um, fighting Lucius, and you can see it's infused with a thunderous power. Um, has to make a dexterity saving throw. It fails, uh, and it takes 3d12 thunder damage. And is pushed away 30 feet. 5, 10, 15. So she sends this, uh, the one that has just hit Lucius, Thalia dodges to the side, fires a blast, and the thunderous energy sends it flying through the room, um, smashing against a far wall uh, as it tumbles away from you, Lucius. Um, and she just kind of nice. gives you a little wink. She's like, do try and focus on your spells, my dear boy. I'll try my best. Blood's just coming out your nose, like... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's one of the best. It's one of the best. <laughs> My schnoz. <laughs> Uh, God, this guy's annoyed. You've you've made a stupid wall of light. He's really annoyed about it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful wall of light. What is it, though? Pretty effective. Is uh, it? He, is. Glorp, will... You hear him chittering and muttering arcane words, and he is going to summon a cloud kill spell. Uh, no. Where you guys are. Yeah. No. No. 20 foot radius. Nice. I got one of these. Oh. oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Yep. My, um, so that's going to hit everybody. Um, warding help with this. Uh, it will, well, it will do so that everybody, everybody basically needs to make a con saving throw. So anybody who's within 10 feet of sentry, which is, I think, is it 10 feet sentry? Everyone. It is, isn't it? 10 feet, yeah. That's everyone. Yep, so everybody gets plus Would three to the saving throw. Or... 16. Danger yeah, sense. does this count with... What does Danger Sense say? Ugh, God. Um, <laughs> I, I, dude, I, don't have I need that you up. to tell me what the ability does. <laughs> Advantage on nice. Dex saving throw. Oh, Dex, sorry. Never <laughs> oh, mind. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So, yeah, no. <laughs> um, um, does... <laughs> Hold a two. <laughs> Hold a two. Does, does that three stack on top of Bless? On saving. Yes, it does, um, yes. So, Sentry, being within 20. 10 feet of Sentry, just boosts. Okay, Twenty-one. So... Alright. <laughs> you get above an eleven. 12, <laughs> 10, say. Eleven, yeah. twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, yes. 18, yeah, I'm 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 Gucci. I'm I'm Everyone like Quill. well up in the Yeah. Yeah, 18. even Quill four three. Yeah, you can't make it even with Bless and Sentry's aura, so yeah, you can't. So pretty much everybody I will roll for Thalia and Big Cat. Ooh, Thalia, no, no bueno. That's going to be a fail on Thalia and maybe on Big Cat. Uh, Big Cat gets three, nine. No, Big Cat's going to save. Um, so Thalia and Quill fail. The rest of you all pass, which I believe is going to take hard. So this thick, cloying, yellow-green fog just begins to spill out uh, around you, um, trapping kind of like caught between the wall of light and the building. Um, and the the fog is. Thick. You feel yourselves coughing. Uh, it burns your throat and your eyes. Um, and the area is also heavily obscured. Uh, you guys are going to take half damage. Um, who has... This is poison damage. And it is a spell. So sentry, your aura of thingy goes off. So you, everyone's going to take half damage again. Um, nice. So, cool. All right. So 5d8. So it'd be 27, halved for those who saved it, and then halved again. 13, 7, so 6. 13, 6. So if those of you who succeeded take 6, those who failed take 13 poison damage. Um. Nice. Sweet. Good save. Yeah, being around nice. sentry when nice. magic nice. goes nice. off is a good thing. Um, Thank you, sentry. The, these things don't seem to really understand that. Uh, and then he is just going to go. Does that thing linger there? Yes, it does, yeah. It seems to remain in place. Um, and as this is an asteroid with no sort of wind or anything else, it is not moving. It's just staying in the area. <laughs> you can try. Uh, Ayla. Uh, uh, I believe um... it's... At end of your turn? Huh? Right. When it poisons you. Five. Ten. Okay. We'll start um, to turn there. I need you to make another con save, Ayla. Oh. Uh. This is at the start of your turn if you start there. For the clown 18 plus 8 plus 3. Yeah. So you're going to take half and then half again. So... 21, so Five. half 10. Five more poison. This I'm thick going fog is to... surrounding you. Boop, boop. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out and give uh, give this dude next to me another whack. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully. 15 plus 9 and 3. Oh, plus 9 and 12. 
34, 50. 16 even with Bless, so I won't hit on the second one, but the first one I'll hit. hit on the second one. Um, first one hit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Nine points of damage, because I rolled a freaking one. I hate Nine life. Nine points of damage. Uh, and do I need to Let make a dex saving throw? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. A tale of two cards has been written Not here. Not 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it takes three points of damage then for three lightning. Points of damage. As this incredibly <laughs> nimble suit of armor bodies. magically manages to leap out of the Fuck way. Fuck my life. Like, yeah. Fuck my life. He does a Dark Souls roll. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Plank, 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 plank. This game can oh, like a dick. Nova Vija. I think it's really loud. At the start of your turn, really make a con save, Nova Vija. Con save, shall we? Um, God, what the hell is my con save anymore? It's okay. Do twenty plus three. So it's a seven, but then I've got bless. So add a d four. That's a one. So that's seven, eight, and then did I get anything else? I'm stood next to sentry, so that's another three. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just manages to succeed, right. yeah. Even rolling oh, a four, right. you manage to succeed. So you'd take half, which was five, and then half again, two more poison damage. <laughs> God, sentry, and it's just the light of the matrix is just warding away some of this Whoa. poison, like it's just pulsing it away um, as sentry's aura is protecting you against the harmful magic. Um, yeah. Oath of Ancients um, Guardian, very strong. Very strong. Tasty. So it's cloud kill, though, so it balances out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <True. laughs> um, can I please Hexblade cuss Glorb? Glorb? Korg? Uh, do you need to but... be able to see him? Because he's on the other side uh, of the wall of light. Very good question. Let me just... Um, yeah, you can see within 30 feet. Fair play, so mate. He's currently behind your own um, wall of light, so you cannot see him. In which case... Um... I'm just I'm sorry. I just need to. Ch I I could move out of it. I could move out of it. I could be. I mean, you're gonna I take do, right? damage on your turn. If you yeah. Don't. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna move. Oh, oh god, I've got the wrong freaking thing selected. Okay, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Pop out. Are you walking um, through the wall of light? Because that looked like you just. You walked can through walk the wall of light. through it. It's only if you end your turn on it that you take damage. Oh, you right, can you walk, can through, walk it. through it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so can I Hexblade cuss him? Yes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Turns 5, around. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, he's within range. Oh, there you are. I was worried I'd have to come in there and get you. <laughs> uh, Turns his big energy crossbow towards you. Stay in there. Cool. Um, so <laughs> one D20 plus. So I'm going to make a melee. I'm going to use Wall of Light to shoot a beam at him. So melee spell attack plus my uh, Hexblade curse plus another d4 from Bless. That is a 19 is... to hit. Hang on. Well, plus 13 to your attack roll. Yes, yeah, so it's this. 9 from my spell range. So it's 9 for my spell range and then it's another 4 for Hexblade curse and then it's a d4 Wait, with Bless. Wait, no, that's to the damage, the Hexblade curse. I don't think you get that to attack rolls. No, it's... Um, you're right. That's right, Mark. That is very right. Um, so I that is, 13 is exceptionally high. 10, 11, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, so it's 15 thing. to hit. 15 does Bless not is hit. only for one he... thing. Is that right? That what Bless is to, um, no, it's to any attack rolls or saving throws. Oh, okay. So any attack oh, rolls any, or saving throws. One. But sadly, I the see. 16 or the 15 is not enough. Uh, he, the, it just bounces off his armored carapace. Two, nine, oh. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Don't do 15. that. That could have hurt. Could have taken me arm off. No, no, don't do. Don't. Um. Yeah, I think that's all I can do. Um, all right, Quillek and Sentry. Yeah. Can Can you reduce the wall by um, ten foot, please? Um, I think just that little uh, tail end uh, on the right. I don't think I can, because I'd have to okay. do the whole thing. I'll figure so it out. I keep you can't carry on. Getting the cloud kill. Why don't you just put That's a line, we'll just line through ten, the bits We'll just remember it ten below. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just do that. All right, uh, Quillock. Uh, can I do uh, a healing word, the ranged one, whichever the ranged one is, 
on uh, Lucius. Yep, word. Um, and where the hell has it gone? Um, that's a level four. Oh, well, before you do that, yes. con saving throw, please, at the start of your turn. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Con saving. Oh. What should the I hell? have taken one for the poison oh. damagios? I should have, shouldn't I? Yeah. Oh, did you not? No, you did one, didn't you, Kim? No. Um. Yeah, you did, because you it was four plus three, seven plus the d4 plus sentry thing. You did save against the poison thing. You did. But is that no? Definitely. Is that no, no? For a concentration check on Wall of Light. Technically, yes, you should have done. Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. So that um, would have been a con should save I roll that? EC ten. Con save that, that. Okay. Um, plus three. And you would have been in Sentry's aura, so yeah, you're twenty. Fine. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. All right, so Quill, I, con save. I did uh, fourteen, including Sentry's 14. plus three. It's enough, so you're going to take half, then half again. So it goes to ten, nine, half of nine, four, four points of poison damage. Are we? Um. And, okay, so yeah, it's a level 4 healing word on Lucius. Uh, so with aid, by the way, it's not temp HP, it's max HP. So you've got 10 added oh. to your HP. Um, so, whoa. Oh, oh I think Reed's computer is dying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just uh, restart, Reed, if you can. She has become full sentry. Uh... So you heal for 15, Lucius. Thank you. And that's a bonus so action. My, I would like... My max sorry. is 7. Instead of 60, it's 70. And how long does it stay like Ten that? higher. Uh, Until I forever. lose it, right? No, just forever. The it's rest of time, hours. it says here. Eight. eight is eight hours. Yep, yep eight so hours. I still got it, um, even though I lost it. Yes. It's your max HP yep. goes up, not temporary points. Right, right, right. Brings back right. your mats. Can I go to the inside of the wall of light, um, oh at the very, very edge of the explosion, the poison fog gas thing, and I want to use a lightning lure on this Korg, Skorg, Skeleton Boy, whatever he is. Uh, so you actually, you bonus action to healing word, you move, move, and now you're going to use yep. your action to cast lightning lure. Sure? Yes, yeah. So strength save from him. Uh, for him, is that's only a nine. Cool. I pull him towards me, so he is now inside both the fog and the wall. Yep. Um, cool. And I also do 2d8 plus 5 of damage. So, so I do, do 14 damage to him. Do you get the plus 5? Okay. Yeah, uh, we, I get bonuses to cantrips. It was um, an arcane... Cleric thing. Yeah, you get potent, potent spell casting. Yeah. Uh, so that's fourth um, lightning. He, the lightning he seems to be somewhat resistant to. Um, so it's only seven points of lightning. That's fine. And he's got he's got two swords as well, right? Like on the top of his body. He's got like little daggers. Yeah, he's got like little daggers in two hands, and then he's got a heavy uh, energy bow in his lower arms. Can I see anything while I'm inside the wall of light? Actually, think about it. Uh, are you ending your turn in the wall of light? Yeah, don't. No, that's the thing. I kind of want to. I kind of want to move away from him a little and just sort of do you have there. So he probably get movement to do that. I do have extra movement, so I just um, guess he would uh, get an attack, get an attack opportunity, opportunity against you. He does. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, he rolled a, a three anyway, so no, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, you said you were using a portal there, my child. Yeah, he, he rolled a three. He rolled a three. There you go. Okay, that's one portal gone. Um. <laughs> I saw that yeah, just okay. as he rolled the so, four. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, he rolled a three, so he misses you, and you step out of the the wall of light, and now you can see. But yeah, but you can Perfect. see him half in and out of it. But anything beyond the wall of light, you don't have vision. You don't have line of sight. Yeah. So the lightning lure would have worked if I was sort of inside, outside that sort of wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, cool. Done. Entry. If we've got a Rhiannon back. No. We don't Not have yet. Rhiannon back. Can you hear me? In that case. Yeah. We can oh, hear. We can. I can hear us. I can see you. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, all my USB Well, you can take your turn. Crack. Okay. Oh. Um, I 
Got all the maps reset. Hang on, give me a second. It's Where like being I in the cloud. Is that true? I can't see. <laughs> I'm in the sky. What color is it, Mark? Um, the cloud. Uh, it's like greenish yellow, greeny purple, okay. yellowness. <laughs> Perfect. Do you want I can just do it on my end. Oh, there you go. Uh, you do. You all need to make a con save. Thank you. Thanks for the right. reminder. Good job, Sentry. Um, I've got I've got poison resistance as well. Oh god, yeah. So this is So you half great. half half it if you pass. Eight yeah. plus it. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen total. Right, so you pass, so you take half, which is eight, then you half it again. Does your water does your aura affect you? I think it does, doesn't it? Let me have a quick read. Uh, I think it does. I'm going to say for now it does, but yeah. that... it's you and friendly you, creatures. You and... Yeah. Yeah. So you half it to eight, then you half it again to four, and then you are also resistant to poison damage, so you take two poison damage. Two damage. God damn. <laughs> awesome. Just um, stay there. <laughs> I'm going to move you up certainly to could. the um, person here, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to attack him. Old school style. Um, okay. So I'll do my first attack roll. Then I'll div I'll do divine smite on him too. So at one plus that's fourteen plus nine. That's a hit. To hit. And yep. then I'll do one d eight plus five, and I'll divine smite it at level two. Okay. That's. 3d8? I believe so. So that's 16 plus 5, 21, and then I've got 1d4 from uh, Divine Favor. From Her Majesty's Rose. Oh, and Divine Favor and as well. Her Majesty's Dude, don't Rose worry. It, this, this thing is <laughs> in, annihilated. You, you walk up to it in the fog, and even through the even through like the heavy kind of like clouds and not being able to fully see it, you just plunge the sword forward and you hear metal being ripped and torn and shredded. That squeal of <laughs> clang, 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 <laughs> clang, 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 as you just see pieces of this thing fall to the ground. Um, awesome. As, yeah, you just annihilate it, basically. <laughs> nice. Then Anything else? I guess I can move up and take on this guy with my second attack, right? I've still got one more left. You could, yeah, if you've got the movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll use up all my movement. Let's do it. You're right, Thomas. Rock and roll. Divine favor is concentration, so it's either that or bless. Ah, so there, no more bless. I use a bless on myself. So. Um... Uh, no, it's the spell is concentration. You can have it one oh, or the other active. So. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just count that no more bless. No more bless. No bless. Well, you you got a free good. couple of rounds of bless. How about that? That makes up for all my oh, nat twenties. That so will do uh, three plus sets a twelve to hit. That is not enough. This thing's armor okay. is much tougher than you expected, and the sword fails to find purchase. Uh, as Okey dokey. You strike Any bonus actions. I'm good. Okay, I'll end my turn there then. Okay, you end your turn there. Uh, after you, the other creature, no longer stunned by Lucius's pattern, uh, moves forward, uh, and you kind of hear another voice. Uh, I don't know where Glorp is, but I'm going to deal with you two first, and then I'm going to go find him. Uh, oh. And he <laughs> wields uh, like a, a three-pronged trident in his lower arms, and then his two upper arms have the same little knives. Um, and he's going to attack uh, one one attack against Sentry. In fact, actually, no, he's just going to attack Ayla <laughs> with both, I think, um, for now. Uh, so Ayla, that, that is I love that Trot a... always has to go the extra distance. 19. Wait, look at this. <laughs> that's, that's a hit against Ayla 19 uh, so D8 plus 4 that's 9 points of piercing damage halved and, yeah so you can half it yeah it's not It's uh, oh his weapons they're magical but I think I don't know if that I think your thing still it's is the type so of damage anything. yeah 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 so yep yep so you half that so 9 so what's that half that's 4 um, and mm -hmm. then the claws come down uh, and they hit you. Uh, the two little daggers, sorry, for 10 points, so five more damage. As he just starts jabbing you with all of these different weapons. Don't worry, I won't He's actually soft. kill you. I'm just softening you up first. Then I'll knock you out. 
<laughs> I apologize for any bleeding wounds and any scarring. Lucius, at the start of your turn, a constitution saving throw, please. You do not have bless, and you no longer have sentry's protection. So this is just a straight con save. Thanks for the hard reality, bro. <laughs> Eight. Okay, bro. Oh, well, yeah. That is 19 poison damage. Owie. Okay. Sentry is Thanks too far heal. away for her, uh, for her aura to have, uh, protect you. Um, as you feel this cloying, poisonous fog that is not going anywhere. It's just sitting where it, it is. Um, moving. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. To there. Yep, so and you're out I'm of the going, cloud of fog. I'm going to Melth's Acid Arrow and use my Sorcerer Points to twin it onto mm -hmm. these two at the top here that Aelo so, Sentry are attacking. Yeah, the animated um, armor and then the Mesoloth that they are currently fighting. That's right, and I'll do it at level 3. So here's the first one. So this is against, against the Mesoloth. 16 against him is not enough. Just ma narrowly manages to glance it off of the uh, carapace of this insectoid fiend. Right. And then I'll do it again. I just want to roll it. Oh, I'll just cast it. Screw it. 13. No. Nope. Uh, no, both both do not fully hit. Does it do any damage on a miss? Uh, I believe not. Let me double check, though. On a miss, the arrow you splashes do that. the target with acid for half as much the initial damage and no damage at the end of its next turn. So, yes. Yeah. Um, so it would be 44 Well, halved. against the... So it will be... Uh, roll it against the animated armor. The insectoid creature, when you coat it with acid, it shows absolutely no sign of any harm. Um, it is immune to acid when you strike the, so, the insect-like creature. Six. Uh, but the... Uh, yep, against the suit of armor. Yes. And then can I dichromancy it as well for seven? So six points of acid damage and then seven points of acid damage. Yeah, and you see the armor surrounding it becomes pitted and worn, begins rusting in places where the acid splashes all against it, uh, but does not seem to... Um, yeah, does, uh, yeah it, it affects it as you would expect it to. Uh, however, yeah. if the insectoid creature completely shrugs off the attack uh big cat big cat makes his saving throw uh he is still within 10 feet of sentry yeah so, 10 feet 5 10 save he passes which means he's gonna half it and then half it again so 25 is 12 and then six poison damage to big cat big cat you hear just like ha <laughs> ha uh, as it begins okay. hacking out. Wow. He will take the most immediate course out, which is here. Uh, then he moves around, uh, and he will pounce upon uh, this other creature here and bite him. Uh, but his teeth can one in the wall of light enough into... Yeah, the one against the one in the wall of light. Thank you, Tom. Um, he just The big cat, however, can't pierce through its insectoid-like carapace uh, as it fails to gain any purchase. Uh, the two suits of animated armor that are left, the one fighting Sentry and Ayla, uh, one will just try and hit Sentry twice uh, for 21. Are there yep. two? Uh, there are two. One was pushed back into the far corner. Ah, you okay. can't see it. Uh, so Sentry, the first one, the first attack hits you, uh, but the second attack misses. You're going to take three points of bludgeoning damage. And five, and Lucius, the one that Thalia had knocked back into the corner of the room, Dish, 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 comes storming up towards you, oh. uh, attempting to repeat its attacks against you. Uh, oh, 15 no. to hit. Yeah. yeah and mate. 17 to hit. Yeah. That's going to be 6 points of bludgeoning damage, and then another 8 points of bludgeoning damage. Dish, dish, as these big armored fists just pummel into you. Oh lord. Um, oh dear. That's a pummeling. That's that Pomlin, a right. A couple more things. Thalia on her turn will make a saving throw against the poison. Um, she also fails and is out of range for any super nice bonuses. She takes 22 poison damage. Uh, uh, this isn't very good uh, for my skin. Oh, it's no time to be glib. And then she is going to run and get out of this as well. And she will fire two shots at the armor uh, facing Lucius. 
Uh, the first one is a miss as it bounces off its armor. The second one is a hit for another 12 point damage. Uh, radiant <laughs> energy blasts out of her pistol, striking into the creature. Uh, Ayla. That's a big oh no, sorry. Gloop. It's Glorp's go. Glorp steps out of the wall of light. He started his turn in it. Does that do anything? Um, it's when he end, if he ends his turn. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, it's he end, stepped out of it before turn. it has time to burn him. Uh, yeah. Also, it doesn't seem to be affected by the poison. Uh, it doesn't seem to care about the poison yeah. uh, around him. Um, he looks at the new bird man. He's like, hey, Man, that lightning hurt, and he shoots you in the chest with his big energy crossbow. Aww. Uh, for a twenty to hit. Oh yeah, n yeah, um, yeah, yeah. For eight points of radiant damage, uh, and then he will step in, and he stabs you with his little knives. Ew. For a twenty-five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For 12 points of damage. As his little tiny top hands come barreling down, shoving oh, knives wow. into your shoulders. You're trying to knock me out. Use the other ends. <laughs> I will do when you look hurt enough. But. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just following orders, mate. Uh, Ayla. I get you. <laughs> You've now got this um, large insect thing in front of you, as well as another one of these armored, okay. uh, animated armors. I will hit the insect, please. Um, sure. No, I won't. That one? No, I won't. I won't hit it at all. What's the total? I'm going to guess that's a no, but you 15. never know. 15 is not enough. Highest is a 15. So Next one. Is, oh, you rolled a one on the first one. No, so that's I that. I rolled a first. I rolled a one and a five, yeah. so I'm, I'm out. I didn't see I'm the. Done. I didn't see the first attack. All right. Uh, deck saving throw. What? Oh yes. Do I make a deck saving throw? Uh, that is yes, a failure. A seven. Six points of lightning damage. Six. They are resistant to lightning damage, so it takes. Oh, of course yeah. they are. Of course they are. I, I said that earlier. I said it earlier. Nova. Unless you want to do anything um, else. You want to move, Taylor? No. Nova. Okay. Um, are these like little crates next to us or something? Um, yeah, the they're just like little metal crates, they look like. Okay. Um, I'm going to kind of nip behind one. Um, okay. And then can I... Um, five, ten... Can I uh, shoot out another wall of light beam block? Mm -hmm. But... At um, Scorb, Corb, Dorb. Lorp. Um, that is a 14 to hit. Fucking. Just bounces off of his carapace again. <laughs> okay, oh, you're going to have this. to try harder than that. I hate this so much. Um, that's all I can do. That's all that it? I can that's do. your action? Yeah, that's no it. No bonus that's action? Whole... Nope. Will I can call off? <laughs> then sentry afterwards. So how much of the wall was gone there? 10 foot? Yeah, I'm, I'm drawing it. There, so. Yeah, Kimmel, ignore Kimmel it. Mark. I'm, I'm, I'm scribbling on it now. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, what are these like pallets next to me? Can I stand? On, are they just ground things? I mean, Kim, like you, you see this, I did right? Just you say, see this. I did just say. Kim I did literally just, ask, just asked. I literally, what are these yeah. next to us? Are these metal crates? And I said, yes, they're little metal crates. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to go just, hide behind What one. do I do, Thomas? What do I do with it? <laughs> you know. I, I mean, short answer, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but it's just... Listen! <laughs> I spend the time in between turns looking up my turn so I can do it quickly. <laughs> it's not going really quick right now, is it, though? No! If it wasn't a yes, yes it would be quick! <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are metal crates, Tom. They are, they are, you know, little square metal crates. Come join me behind one. Uh, I know, I heard when you said it through Kim's turn. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Jesus. Um, oh my god, now my mouse is disconnected. What is this stream? That's karma. That's what that is. How does your mouse disconnect? I don't know. Um, Rhiannon's entire computer disconnected everything. So, I mean, you've dropped a couple of times. This, this is just a mess at this point. 
I don't know what yeah. you mean, one Katie. We'll I can see Sentry. One day. One day I can we'll see Sentry in a fog cloud there. <laughs> I'm still in the room. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> right. I also oh, hate the fact that Chris Trot has too much power. I hate this. Yeah. I'm adding enhancements to our stream. Not for the podcast, <laughs> Chris Trot. Not for the podcast. Oh, this is great for the uh... podcast, is it, Mark? <laughs> I just uh... waiting for Tom to tell me what he's going to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thinking, how the hell you am I going to go back through this and cut this out? Uh, I won't. Gust. Um, uh, he needs to make a strength save. Okay. Ten foot. That is a ten. Cool. He goes back five feet, so towards Big Cat. Um, yep. And then knock him back. Uh, yeah. And then after that, back. was it this to do this? Uh, as the gust of wind generates the first kind of breeze, it causes the cloud to slowly drift <laughs> about five feet. Uh, oh, cool. Onto Lucius. Awesome. Um, I, guess, I guess it would go more like this. It would kind of go back in a more diagonal. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then I want to um, shield of faith myself and kind of over messenger ring say, I can hear your anger from here. Maybe try attacking a little bit more recklessly, Ayla. <laughs> Oh wow! How about you fuck yourself, Quill. <laughs> what? Right, there you go. You've missed every attack this entire time, and you've got a reckless attack. I'm not the only one who's missing, though. I, I'm choosing not to because I've got two things next to me, which will then get advantage on multiple attacks against me. You got it's a point. choice not you can, to. You can. you can. Yeah, but it's yeah, a choice yeah. not to. So it's a choice. All right, Quill, you moving? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. It back a little bit, so 5, 10, 15, like, to kind of around by the edge of this weird metal thing on the floor. What is that, by the way? It's a metal crate on Sentry. Ah, uh, we'll go thanks. to the end of this round, and then we're going to probably have to call it if we've got a few things to read out. So right. might be able to squeeze it. I'm going to um, move back towards Lucius. Okay. Um, and you then started gonna... your turn in the whole cloud, so can you make a con save yep. for me, please? Con save, yes. No problem, all. 21 plus 20. Right, so, yeah, you, dude, you've succeeded. Uh, half of 31 <laughs> is 15. Half that again is 7. Half that again is 3. You take 3 poison damage. Thank you. Okie dokie. Did it do it? As this cloud just does nothing. You're go. just sort of like, dum da dum da dum. <laughs> um, I'm going to use, uh, let's say, 30 points of lay on hands on Lucius. Okay. And then, as your action, uh, as my action, then bonus action, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on him as well. So my Divine Faith is going to go. But he okay. gets a plus right. two yep. to so, AD. Plus two AC. Perfect. Damn. Good round. Thanks. Nice bit of support. Proper, right. proper support entry. Um, proper. The proper. The insectoid creature in front of Ayla. I would say, ah, oh, looks like your big metal friend has left you all alone. I'm sorry, uh, and he will attack you. <laughs> With his trident and his little stabby knives. Uh, so his trident is, an, is a one. It's a miss uh, as it goes too wide. Uh, and then he will stab you with his little knives. For a... That's going to be a miss. That's a 16. <laughs> Ayla dodges to the side. Uh, missing completely. Doesn't do anything else. Happy to stay where he is. Uh, Lucius. I will... Uh, I'm kind of... I don't really want to move from here, I guess. Because I'm in... Opportunity attack from this guy, but I assume attacking would be you a disadvantage. Leave his threatened space, yeah. Range, um. range spell attacks will be yes. Right. So if you have so, like uh, melee spells, then they're fine. But range even spells if I disadvantage. attack someone else, no. If you attack someone else, you're fine. All right. I'm gonna fling a chromatic orb of ice at this boy ice, over ice here. Baby. Which one? Uh, the the four armed insectoid creature yep, fighting Ayla. Yep. Uh, I'll cast that at fourth level. Ding dong. Sure. That's a twenty five. Nice. That's a hit. It's a big hit. That's a hit. Smashes him in the back as he's distracted fighting Ayla. Right. And that's sixty eight. Is so I'm the cold just... is not as effective as you would like it to be. Good. Um. <laughs> beans, man. Beans. They have resistance. Beans. Two things. Beans. Not beans. Beans. 
22 half to 11. It's 11 points of cold damage. I'm uh, going to dichromancy the animated armor next to him. So, uh, How much for? So that's eight. Just enough to send it Yay. collapsing into a pile of frozen shards as it shatters apart uh, as the ice slams into its back created from a scrap of blue cloth that you can see. I'm also going to add my bonus action shield of faith barrier ring uh, not shield of faith barrier ring on top yep. stacking okay. the AC. Sure. Which I should have done good. earlier. There you go. Should have done earlier. Uh, big cat will attempt to bite the big insectoid creature um, for a 19 which is a hit. Uh, Sadly, he didn't get his pounce, but he will chomp down for another seven points of damage. Halved is three. Uh, as he tries to bite onto this large insect slide demon and is just struggling to bite through its armored carapace, uh, it kind of growls, Rawr! pushes him down. Uh, and then the only remaining animated suit of armor will continue its attacks against Lucius um, as it's only Protection, viable. Please. Yep, so disadvantage. Uh, so that's going to be three plus four. Seven is a miss, Lucius, the first attack. Uh, and then the that second attack. A tiny little is... protection, please. Protection, please. <laughs> From the mists. Uh, is... That's going to be a 12, Lucius, the second attack. No! That won't hit. <laughs> Yay! Collide with the combined <laughs> strength of Sentry's spell and the barrier ring uh, as Can't it bounces it. against it harmlessly um and that is probably going to make the most sense to stop because it's the start of a fresh new round um we're just going to have to continue this uh next week as uh so what's you guys, uh, big so the left so basically uh one animated suit of armor the big pot poison cloud the the cloud kill is still active the wall of light is still there and then these two mesoloth insect demons basically um, they seem quite tough. They 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 have a very yeah. hard to penetrate uh, carapace. Uh, they seem to have um, many resistances, uh, and are just kind of very casually going about their business of um, fighting you guys. Um, and yeah, that's where we'll pick up. Just next casually, week. just casually. Sweet, um, Tom. I don't know if you know this, but um, next to Cool, there's a few metal crates. Yeah, just, just, where? just a cool bit of detail. Just uh, around, oh, no, like. Uh, next no, I, I moved. I moved a little bit further away from them. I did that. Uh, no, we're there's, not there's, there's another one. Oh, there's another one next. There's another one. There's another one there. Oh yeah. yeah Sorry, yeah, I couldn't yeah. tell because this map is just really fucking ugly, Mark. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was going to compliment the asset use actually. I quite like the background. Oh, shots I like it. fired! It's a, good, it's a good map. I like it. You can't uh, backtrack one day, now. One day I'll play. Map worked of really well today, actually. I really yes. yeah. that worked really well with I've, like, I've, the effects and stuff. It worked really well with I've line of sight and, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've also um, Roll Twenty has a new dynamic lighting way of doing the lighting stuff, which allows you to like you see what you've explored previously and stuff like that. So it's getting a bit better. Um, cool. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Uh, Sweet. Cool. Well, that is us for this week's episode of High Rollers. Uh, a good mix of RP and then uh, yeah, some combat -y stuff. Um, with more combat stuff to come. Um, will will Tom Hazel listen to me next week? Find out on the next episode of Arrowis. Will Tom Will Hazel... anyone else learn to play the game? <laughs> and take the <laughs> He's, so salty. He's so salty. Fuck you, I'm not the problem, dude. I take the turns quickly and efficiently. Like, oh, I'm doing this attack. It does this much damage. Boom, done. You do. You That's do. I love it. I love that. I do love that. Yeah, that's great. I do love that. It's just, I think what made the crate thing so funny was literally Nova was the turn before you, and Kim was like, Mark, are these things next to me, yeah. are they are they crates? And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. they're like metal crates. <laughs> and then the yeah. next question out yeah. of your mouth, the next thing you said what are these things? was, what, what are these things next to me? Are they like metal pallets? <laughs> and it was uh, just I, the I, best. I have you know I disconnected, Mark? I, I didn't disconnect. <laughs> oh, did you? Ah, that explains no, it. I didn't know. No, no, uh, that's just a lie. <laughs> <laughs> do we have time to read out any more donations or do you guys want to fight we should a read bit it. More? Yeah, we got, we've got like five, we've got five minutes. We can do that now. Uh, Jeez, look, we have done 
Three thousand yeah. five hundred yeah. more than. So thank you so yeah. much for supporting. So much. Crazy. It's awesome. And uh, we we'll try always and get had a very generous community. Yeah, yeah. Just, even yeah. if it's just yeah, names, even if it's just thanking people and saying, "Hey, thanks to name, 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 name." Um, just I don't in know case. If we're going to be able to read out um, all the messages. I don't know when the overlap happened when Tom left because I couldn't find. Uh, is it Michelle Mitchell? Or what, which one was it? I can't remember. Either way, Shy Twink 98 thank you very much. Zoapra, thank you very much. S Mitchell86, thank you. Anxiety Statement, Squared97, thank you very much. Those are ones kind of near the end. Um, to and uh, it was Maddie was the one that was missed. And um, I think you couldn't find that one. Yeah, I couldn't find that one. And that was, hey, Rollers, would love to watch the stream live, but need to be part of the VOD squad. And so I have more stuff to watch in the day. If Tom is reading this, please bark. Ah! There you go. Bark. That's how I bark. bark. Yeah. Huh. Remember when he okay. turned me into a dog? Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> thank you for your over hundo. Holy shit, are we at 3,000 now? Love you guys. Want to chip in? Thank you. Mudkip donated. Uh, thank you very much. That's a long message, and it's between you and Tom. So maybe Tom can read that one to himself and reach out to Mudkip potentially uh deadly oh, yeah. one thank you very much for that donation uh felt need to help out already so much today to keep up the good work thank you kenku noises thank you for your donation option d asteroid blows up there's an option silt strider captain thanks for your donation uh one-eyed willies one-eyed willy <laughs> thanks for your quarter hundo <laughs> star spangled narwhal Thank you for your donation. Till recently, I never realized that there was still so much racism in America. Here's to helping the people who were born into a cruel world. It's global, and we're doing all we can right now, and all this uh, money is going towards the good cause. So thank you for yeah. that. Riley, for your donation, thank you very much. Mark, once again, incredible world building, loving all of this. Uh, NR Doddy. One, thank you for your quarter hundo. Absolutely loving the stream. Have watched since the beginning and I've been obsessed with D and F ever since. What a brilliant cause. Hashtag BLM. Thank you. Uh, violently passive. Thanks for your quarter hundo. As an American, I'm so pleased to see support for the BLM internationally. Thank you for all you do. It is an international problem. So we this want to do as really much as we can. Uh, Flack Obama, thank you for your half hundo. Love you guys. Hashtag HRD and D. Hashtag Iron Sloth. Hashtag BLM. Thank you. Um, very much. Super Mega Boom Pow. Thank you for your donation. Just a weekly donor for my favorites. Can't watch live today. Hope no one dies. Much love to you. Uh, thank you very much. Ravager4. Thanks for your donation. Nothing fancy to say. Just chipping into what I can. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, guys. Thank you very much. Yo, yo, daddy. Zero. Thanks for your donation. First time donor. You all stay safe. Glad that the statue's finally gone. Hashtag BLM. Uh, there is a, yeah. <laughs> there are some videos of it going, if you want to see that on Twitter. It's going, it's going pretty yeah. viral. Like I've seen a lot of people sharing that. Uh, yeah. Shy Laren. Yeah, it's in the river. It's in the river now. It's in the river now. Uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. there you go. Shy Laren, thanks for your donation. Hey up, guys. Enjoying the streams more than ever. So many Star Wars references. <laughs> yeah. We in space now. Uh, Stimpy Vader, thanks for your donation. Can't donate much since my car is broke, but here's a bit. Also, I'd like to see a game with Tom as DM. Wouldn't that be lovely? It would, it would be a three-hour-long story because um, none of the players would take turns because I don't listen to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like Tom's going Tom's to be holding on to this one for a long time, by the way. Tom's going to yeah, be yeah. putting this one through the works, I think. This is going through the ring. Yeah. Uh, I'm milking this one. After this, Tom. Don't play Dark Souls <laughs> care after this one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, that's all from High Rollers. Thank you very much, everybody, for reaching over Seriously. three and a half thousand. Incredible. Yeah, thank, thank you so guys much. so much. Uh, definitely, we've had a we have a very generous community in High Rollers, and to see you all putting that money towards a good cause is super awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, ultimately, we know you know some people might not agree with what we're doing, and that's okay. You can disagree as much as you like, but this is what we think is the right thing to do, and that's why we're doing it. So um yeah we appreciate it and we will be back for high roller stuff uh we have chaos twins on tuesday yes uh yes yeah yeah, yeah. wednesday yeah. nova yeah. idol champ stream mm -hmm. thursday curse yeah. of strad and then we'll be back yep. on sunday for more Rois. so busy busy yeah. week uh week. check yeah. it out um, thanks very much um take care we love you uh look after yourselves be safe um and we'll see you next time bye everyone Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.